2023-2024, Driver's Manual to View the Digital Version, Georgia Department of Driver Services, Contenis DDS Mission and Core Values, Licenses, Permits and Identification Card Desk, General Licensing Information, 4. Obtaining a License Permit, or Identification Card 8, Testing Information, 12. Other Services and Information, 14. Rules, Regulations, Laws and Safety, Traffic Laws, 17. Teen Driving Laws, 26. Signs, Signals, and Markings, 28. Safety Guidelines, 38. Sharing the Road, 42. Losing Your Driving Privileges, 46 Crashes, 50. Our Mission, to provide secure driver and identity credentials to our customers with excellence and respect. Our Core Values, colon. Trusted Service Accountable to All. Ethical actions motivated to excellence. Hash 2023 Reimagining Driver Services. Title VI Policy Statement. The Georgia Department of DRL vs. Services DDS is committed to compliance with TLTLE VI of the CLVLL Rights Act of 1964 and all related non discrimination authorities. DDS assures that no person shall, on the grounds of race, color, natlonal origin, sex, age, DL savity, low income, and limited English proficiency, let be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be otherwise subjected to DL scrum letlin under any program or activity. DDS further assures that every effort will be made to ensure non skirt and hatlon in all programs and act MTLS, whether or not those programs and activities are federally funded. In addition, DDS will take reasonable steps to provide meaningful access to services for persons with LML TED English proficiency. Finally, DDS agrees to abide by the Title VI program assurances and to ensure that written agreements with any party for federally funded programs or services WLLL LNC the applicable Title VI language is provided in the Title VI program assurances. The DDS Title Roman VI Program Coordinator is responsible for oversight of the Title VI program and ensuring compliance with the requirements provided in 49 Code of Federal Regulations and CFR Part 21 and 49 CFR Part 303. The Title VI Program Coordinator and all Division Directors are authorized to effectively implement the Title VI program on behalf of the Department, DDS ONUNESERVICES. Be certain to take advantage of DDS online services and avoid an unnecessary trip to a customer service center. DDS online services enable thousands of Georgia drivers to conduct many transactions via dds.georgia.gov and eliminate a visit to a DDS customer service center CSC. This saves customers valuable time and money. DDS does not charge an additional fee for choosing online services. A $5 discount may apply for eligible license types that are renewed on the internet. For more information, visit the DDS website at dds.georgia.gov and like DDS on Facebook. The information contained in this manual is not intended to be an official legal reference to the Georgia traffic laws. It is intended only to explain, in everyday language, those laws, driving practices, and procedures that you will use most often. It should be noted that the material in this manual is subject to change to comply with amended state and federal legislation. The department's primary statutory responsibilities are set forth in Title 40 of the official CO of Georgia Annotated OCG8. This publication is produced by the DDS Governmental Affairs and Communications Division. Fu 1M equals zero. Governor's message. I wish you safe passage and encourage you to exercise good judgment, follow driving laws, and prioritize safety for yourself, fellow motorists, and passengers. Brian P. Kemp, Governor. Georgia Gov. Commissioner's message. Board of Directors message. Operating a vehicle is a tremendous responsibility, and we want you to be fully prepared to meet the challenges. Please pay particular attention to the sections on traffic laws, teen driving laws, and safety guidelines. By obeying all traffic laws and never driving distracted, we can ensure that our roads are safer for drivers and passengers alike. Spencer R. Moore, Commissioner. DDS2 Go. David W. Connell. Chair Jeff Markey, Vice Chair. Britt Fleck, Secretary. Board of Directors. Tony Gasasola, Member Rachel Little, Member Christine Moore, Member Bob Pierce, Member Sheriff Frank Reynolds, Member Kat Satterfield, Member. The Department of Driver Services DDS Board of Directors would like to remind our customers that driving in Georgia is a privilege that carries many responsibilities. Please be a safe and dependable driver to ensure that this privilege will not be lost. This manual has two main purposes. Goal one, to help you qualify for a Georgia driver's license and two, to help you become a safer driver. This guide is designed to provide you with the information to obtain and keep this type of license. Other manuals are available for commercial drivers and motorcycle operators. FL, what to do and expect when pulled over by police revised January 2021. Police officers are responsible for conducting traffic stops when they have reasonable suspicion of a traffic violation or a criminal violation. Being stopped by an officer can be a stressful experience for the driver, any passengers, and for the officer, too. Knowing what to do during the stop will help ensure your safety and the safety of others. When you see emergency lights behind you, it is important for you and your passengers to stay calm and cooperate. Remember to colon. Activate your turn signal and pull off or to the side of the roadway as soon as it is safe to do so. Turn off the engine and any audio devices. Stay in your vehicle unless directed by the officer to exit. Turn on your interior lights if you are pulled over at night to assist with visibility. Officers may use a spotlight for additional visibility. Keep your hands on the steering wheel or in a visible location so they are easily observable. Follow all instructions the officer gives you or your passengers. The officer may approach either side of the vehicle. When the officer approaches the vehicle, remember to lower the corresponding window so you and the officer can better communicate. Let the officer know if you have a weapon in the vehicle upon first contact. Wait for the officer's instructions before reaching for your driver's license or vehicle documents. When conducting the stop, the officer will typically show their law enforcement credentials if they are not in uniform. If they do not show their credentials, you may ask to see them. Explain why you were stopped slash ask questions about your trip. Ask for your driver's license, proof of insurance, and vehicle registration if the documents are out of your reach. Tell the officer where they are and wait for the officer's acknowledgement before reaching to retrieve the documents. In some cases, the officer may call them. Ask you to exit the vehicle. In this case, keep your hands visible, exit the vehicle, and stand in a location as directed by the officer. Impose a sanction such as a warning, traffic ticket, which may include a fine or arrest. The officer will typically explain whatever action is being taken. 
If they do not, you may ask them to do so. If you have questions, respectfully ask the officer to clarify. If you disagree with the officer's decision or course of action, do not prolong the contact by arguing with the officer. Rather, you may seek to contest the decision in court through established legal channels. Your acceptance and signature on a traffic ticket is not an admission of guilt. However, the refusal to sign a traffic ticket may result in your arrest. If you believe the officer acted inappropriately or have questions regarding their conduct, you may request to speak to a supervisor. This is best done as soon as possible after the stop. Following these procedures can help make a traffic stop a safe experience for all parties involved. This guidance was approved by the AMV Driver and Law Enforcement Standing Committees, by the International Association of Chiefs of Police and the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives, YICP International Association of Motor Vehided Mini I1 Jot West Chiefs of Police I 703522420 I on the dot org dot three dot zero equals zero L on LL General UCNSING has a valid license issued by his or her home information state. One is includes their spouse or dependent son or daughter who has a valid license sued by their home state. Any person who is on active duty in the armed forces of the United States and who has in his or her immediate possession a valid license issued in a foreign country by the armed forces of the United States. However, this license will only be accepted for a period of not more than 45 days from the date of his or her return to the United States. Any person temporarily driving or operating a farm trot tour or farm equipment on a HJGH way for the purpose of conducting farm business. Any member of the reserve components of the armed forces of the United States who is operating a motor vehicle owned by or leased to the United States government, however, the motor vehicle must be operated in accordance with the duties of the person as a member of the reserve components of the armed forces. Any person seeking to obtain a driver's license while he or she is taking the driving examination to obtain a license. This person must be accompanied by a responsible adult with a valid driver's license and be at least 21 years of age or a certified driver examiner or agent of the department. Any migrant farm worker who works in this state less than 90 days in any calendar year and who possesses a valid driver's license issued by another state. Any resident who is 15 years of age or over. While taking actual in-car training in a non-commercial training vehicle and while under the direct personal supervision of a DDS licensed driving instructor, a driving instructor must test the eyesight of any unlicensed person who V.T. will be receiving actual in-car training prior to the training and the person must meet the vision requirements listed on page 8 of this manual. Any person who is operating a personal transportation vehicle on any roadway publicly maintained for the use of personal transportation vehicles only, or when crossing a street or highway used by other types of motor vehicles at a location designated for such crossing by a motorized cart, a non-resident of Georgia who is attending a school in this state, as long as a he or she is at least 16 years of age and has, in his or her immediate possession, a valid license issued to him or her in his or her home state or country and a valid international driving permit if the license is in a language other than English provided, however, that any restrictions which would apply to a Georgia driver's license apply to the privileges given to this person and be he or she is currently enrolled or was in. Enrolled during the immediately preceding period of enrollment in a school in this state, has paid the tuition charged by the school to non-residents of Georgia for the current or immediately preceding period, armed forces of the United States if he or she of enrollment, and has in his or her passes. This section covers requirement to obtain a Georgia driver's license, four applicants under age 18, four previous license, instructional penance or identification cards, four vision requirements, and dot four classes of licenses, five fees slash funds of payment, five license restrictions, five expired license, six carrying and displaying your license, six real ID documentation requirements, Six requirement to obtain a Georgia driver's usance. Georgia law requires that any person wanting to operate a motor vehicle in the roadways of this state obtain a Georgia driver's usance or permit within 30 days of becoming a resident. A person meeting at least one of the following criteria is considered a Georgia resident according to Georgia law OCGA section 40 minus 5 minus 1 colon. A person who has a permanent home or abode in Georgia and when absent has the intent of returning. A person who accepts employment or engages in any trade or occupation in Georgia or who enters his or her children in school. Any person that has been in the state for 30 days or more, not required to obtain a Georgia driver's license slash permit. Any employee of the United States government who is operating a motor vehicle owned by or leased to the United States government or that is being operated on official business. This exemption does not apply if the employee is required by the United States government or any agency of the United States government to have a state driver's license. A non-resident who is at least 16 years of age and who is in his or her immediate possession of valid license issued to him or her in his or her home state or country. However, any restrictions that would apply to a Georgia driver's license as a matter of law would apply to any person who is an out-of-state license. A non-resident who is on active duty in the sound proof of payment of such tuition paid for the current or immediately preceding period of enrollment. Applicants under age 18 automobile or motorcycle. In addition to the requirements listed above, app age cans under 18 years of age must present proof of the following. All applicants under 18 years of age must have a parent, legal guardian, or responsible adult present to sign the application and complete a responsible adult affidavit. Completion of Alcohol and Drug Awareness Program ADAPT. Satisfaction of School Enrollment See page 30 for requirements. For OSD license or for Class M. Instructional Permit MP at age 16 or age. 17 Proof of Completion of a DDS Approved. Driver Education Program plus evidence of it. At least 40-40 hours of supervised driving six of which must be at night. Additional details concerning these requirements can be found on page 26 of this manual or on our website at dds.georgia.gov. Previous licenses, LN Stone 100 and Elevational Permits or Identification Cards. TN most cases, when applying for renewal, replacement, or transfer of any license, instructional pennant, or identification card ID card previously issued in Georgia or any other state or foreign jurisdiction, customers must surrender the previously issued license slash permit slash ID to DDS. TN some cases, surrender of all valid licenses slash permits slash ID cards will be required. Most non-citizen customers with a valid out-of-country driver's license, permit, or ID may retain their out-of-country document upon issuance of a Georgia equivalent document. 
U.S. citizens will not be allowed to retain any licenses, permits, or identification cards issued to them by foreign countries. Vision Requirements Customers for initial issuance of a driver's license must demonstrate the ability to meet minimum vision requirements. The Neuroman Commercial Acceptable Vision for Non-License is 2060 in one eye with OR. We all have corrective lenses and a horizontal field of vision of at least 140 degrees. If you are unable to pass the vision screening administered at the DDS Customer Service Center, you will be given a vision report form DS-274, which must be completed by a licensed optometrist or ophthalmologist and submitted to DDS. The completed form will be evaluated to determine if you are eligible to obtain a driver's license. This form may also be used to document the need for biotech lenses for driving and is available on our website, dds.georgia.gov. S section F general usancing information. If you must wear glasses or contacts to pass your initial vision screening, a corrective tenses restriction will be placed on your license when it is issued. Each time you complete a transaction, you will be required to indicate whether you require glasses or contacts for driving. If your answer differs from the response in our records, you may be required to complete another vision screening or submit a current DS-274 for verification. Customers age 64 and over must successfully complete a vision screening every eight years. Customers who have obtained a license with a biotech lenses restriction must provide updated medical information to the department every two years. Classes of licenses. The issuance of licenses and permits in Georgia is based on their categorization by class. The various classes are associated with the types of vehicles that may be driven and the restrictions that apply to operation of those vehicles. Listed below are the non-commercial classes used in Georgia along with a description of their purpose. Pursuant to House Bill 136 2017, three-wheel auto cycles will not require a class M motorcycle operator's license. Auto cycles are defined as three-wheel motor vehicles that are equipped with a steering wheel and not handlebars. DDS will not administer road tests that involve the use of an auto cycle. Georgia also issues Class A, B, and C commercial licenses. Information concerning these licenses is included in the Georgia Amersal Driver's Manual, available at all DDS customer service centers and on our website at dds.georgia.gov, fees slash forms of payment. The fees for obtaining non-commercial driver's licenses, permits, and ID cards in person are listed below. This fee schedule is not adjusted to reflect the $5 discount for those who choose to renew online or via dds to go all DDS customer service centers accept cash, Visa, and MasterCard credit and debit cards with a bank logo and Discover and American Express credit cards and mobile pay options. We do not accept checks, money orders, or cashier checks. VISA license, permit, and ID card holders are allowed one free name or address change per issuance term. Other changes can also be made at the time of the free name or address change at no charge. Any subsequent modifications require a full renewal at regular cost. Name changes must be in accordance with the requirements listed on page 60. A replacement driver's license, permit, or ID card is a duplicate of the replaced document. No modifications or changes and may be provided at a rost of $5 per occurrence. The replacement license slash permit slash ID card will expire on the original expiration date. However, if a reply document is requested within 150 days off the original expiration date or within 30 days of the original expiration date for a motorcycle instructional permit, the license slash permit slash I must be renewed for a new term at full cost. License Restrictions When issuing a driver's license, DDS is authorized to impose restrictions on your driver's license whenever there is good cause to assure the safe operation of a motor vehicle. Any restrictions imposed will appear on your driver's license. If no restrictions are imposed, dot rate or than site, the letter X will appear in the license restrictions area on your license. The chart to the right lists the restriction codes used by DDS. Licenses may be issued with multiple restriction codes, non-commercial classes, class purpose, CDMEF. Non-commercial license for drivers age 18 and older. Also for drivers new to Georgia who are age 17 and who hold avalid class C equivalent from another state. Provisional license issued to drivers ages 16 and 17. License for motorcycle operators. Non-commercial license for drivers who operate commercial motor vehicles and who are exempt from commercial licensing requirements. Class E and F licenses are free for volunteer firefighters. CPMP, all instructional permits are EP, FP issued with the class designation followed by the letter P. License, permit, and identification card fees. Type driver's license class A, B, C, E, F, and M buyer $32. Driver's license class E and F for volunteer firefighters buyer no fee. Provisional license class D5 or $10. Instructional permit class A, B, C, and M1 or $10. Replacement duplicate license slash permit slash ID card original expiration date $10. National Guard license 8 or no fee. Veteran license combat veteran or no fee. Veteran license non-combat class A, B, C, and M are $32. Honorary license buyer no fee. Controlled substance permit up to 3 or $25. Habitual violator probationary license up to 3 or $210. Limited permit up to $1 or $32. Georgia ID card 8 or $32. George ID card for voting purposes only must provide proof of valid voter registration or no fee. HVP limited permit replacement original term $20. Limited permit renewal equal to original term of permit $10. Veteran ID card combat veteran 8 or no fee veteran ID card non-combat veteran 8 or no fee handicap ID card 8 or $5. Free once address or name change original expiration date per term. If a replacement LLC slash feminal slash LD card is requested within 150 days of the work date, the license slash permit slash 1D card must be renewed for a new term at full cost. Section F, Generate Usancing Information Expired License. To renew a driver's license that has been expired more than HEO years, you must pass a vision test, a driving test, and an exam to test your knowledge of road signs and road rules. You must also meet real ID documentati requirements if you have not already done so. The information below for more informati about real ID requirements, CAFI, IG, and displaying your license. You must have an appropriate driver's license or permit in your possession while operating a motor vehicle in the state of Georgia. If stopped while driving, you must display your driver's license slash permit to any law enforcement officer upon his or her request. A B C E F G H J K 
MN0PARDDS license restriction codes. No restrictions. S power brakes or steering required. Corrective lenses required. T accompanied by disabled parent. Vehicle mechanical aids required. U accompanied by visually impaired. Parent prosthetic aids required. V medical variants. No manual transmission equipped. CMVW valid farm waiver required. Right exterior mirror required. X no cargo and CMV tank vehicle daylight hours only. Y hearing aid required. Employer vehicle only. Z no full air brake. Left exterior mirror required. One biotech lenses required. Automatic transmission required. Two pursuant to court order. Intrastate commerce only three ignition interlock device restrictions aptly no air brake equipped CMB four HBVL restrictions apply no interlock no class of passenger buses five business purpose only no class at or B passenger buses six to end from medical only no tractor trailer CMB seven to end from school only no passengers and CMB bus eight ignition interlock required no passengers allowed nine limited permit no interlock no highway slash interstate real ID documentation requirements the following are examples of acceptable documents to bring with you to be issued a real ID identity document an original or certified document to prove who you are such as an original or certified birth certificate US passport certificate of actualization 1 minus 551 etc you must know your full social security number it will be verified with the social security office electronically two documents showing Georgia residence eg utility bill phone bill must be dated within the last six six months Name change if your name is currently different than the identity document presented such as birth certificate, passport, etc. You must provide a certified copy with seal, legal name change document, e.g. marriage certificate, divorce decree, etc. Note, a document is required even if your name is correct on C11R rent license slash ID. Minors may present passport, however, proof of go, guardianship, requires original slash certified birth certificate or certified court ordered documents. Original immigration documentation must be submitted each time service is requested pertaining to a driver's license or identification card. Gender change a gender update requires applicants to submit court order or physician's letter certifying gender change. The letter or court order shall state the person's name, date of birth, date of gender reassignment operation, and other identifying information. Once you are issued a real ID with a star in the upper right corner, you should be eligible to conduct future transactions without room exiting a center. Download the DDS mobile app, DDS 2GO, for read to have a licensing office in your pocket. OTN 4 JU June 1st, 1984, CWTC.0$212,023. Image OJA. Important Otis, beginning May 7, 2025, you will need a one-sample Real ID compliant card with a star in the right corner to fly within the U.S. 2,208 Unal M. 0 0 0 1 Use of any six Fahrenheit or enter federal buildings or any nuclear power plant www.dhs.gov.lla ESFFLUM Markway E.DIOA Chaudhary you, you would like to review and slash or print a list of acceptable documents, please $0.125-2018's Roman 2 YPLTFF 1110 1, 111 15 feet dot dot 115,511 visit the DDS website at dds.georgia.gov. I do want you for 156,912 T.5,078,110 80 equals at UILJ at obtaining a usance per MRR identification card. This section covers current Georgia residents, a Class C instructional pennant CP. 8 Class D provisional license, 8 Class C license, 9 state ID card, 10 no other license types, 10 commercial Oliver's license, 10 no motorcycle operator's license, 10 licenses for veterans of the U.S., armed forces and their spouses, 10 National Guard license, 10 new Georgia residents, 10 no current Georgia residents, Class CLN Stone 100 and Elevational Permit CP. For first time issuance of a C Class C instructional permit CP, you must meet all requirements to obtain a secure do it if you have not already done so. See page 6 for complete requirements. Obtaining a Class C instructional permit CP upon reaching age 15 or any time thereafter, you may apply for a Class CT instructional permit CP. The fall jowing information will help you prepare for your visit to a DDS customer service center. You will be required to present documents verifying your identity, U.S. citizenship, or lawful presence in Georgia residency as explained on page 6. You must know your social security number or provide proof of your ineligibility to obtain a social security number. Check the DDS website aldds.georgia.gov for more information. You are under age 18, you will be required to present proof of school enrollment. See page 26 for requirements. If you are under age 18, a parent, legal guardian, or responsible adult will have to sign the application, thereby giving their consent for you to obtain a permit. The individual who signs your application may, for any reason, revoke your permit until you reach the age of 18. You will be required to pass a vision test. Your eyes will be tested by means of a mechanical device. You will be required to pass a knowledge exam related to road signs and road rules. Please refer to page 12 for more information related to the knowledge exam. The test fee is $10 and must be paid prior to testing. If any part of the test is failed, no refund will be issued. The permit foe must be paid prior to every testing attempt. Conditions of a Class C Instructional Permit CP Once issued a OC Instructional Permit CP, you may operate any Class C vehicle when accompanied by a person at least 21 years of age who is licensed to drive a Class C vehicle, who is fit and capable of exercising control over the vehicle, and who is occupying a seat beside the driver. Class C instructional permits zero feet arc valid for up to two years. Class D provisional license. For first time as issuance of a Class D license, you must meet all requirements to obtain a secure DL slash 1D if you have not already done so. See pages 10 minus 11 for complete requirements. Obtaining a Class D provisional license upon reaching the age of 16 and after having held a valid instructional permit for one year and one day, you may apply for your Class D license. The fall jowing information will help you prepare for your visit to a DDS customer service center. You will need to make a road test. Appointment see page 12. You must surrender your OC instructional perm. At CP or affirm on your application that you are unable to surrender the permit. See page 15 for details concerning lost licenses and permits. 
you will be required to present proof of school enrollment. See page 26 for require. Mens, you must present proof of completion of the Alcohol and Drug Awareness Program aid. This program is taught in most schools and is also available online. For information about a DAP, you may visit dds.georgia.gov. A parent, legal guardian, or responsible adult will have to sign the application, thereby giving their consent for you to obtain a license. The individual who signs your application may, for any reason, revoke your license until you reach the age of 18. You must pass a road test designed to evaluate your ability to safely operate a motor vehicle. See pages 12 minutes 13 for more information related to the road test. You must satisfy the driver education requirements listed under driver education requirements. Note teens with parents active in the U.S. military can use an out-of-state driver's education certificate provided that it is within nine months of their 16th birthday. A 17-year-old V.111 be exempt from holding their learner's permit for one year and one day with proof that they are enlisted in the military. They will be issued a Gas C license at issuance. Driver education requirements to obtain a Class D license at the age of 16 or 17. You must complete both a driver education course approved by DDS and the Alcohol and Drug Awareness Program at DAP. An approved driver education course consists of either 30 hours of classroom instruction or completion of an equivalent online virtual course and 06 hours of on-the-road experience with a certified instructor or completion of the DDS Parenting Driving Guide available online or at any CSC. You must also have completed a cumulative total of at least four zero hours of other driving experience, including at least six hours at Nile. A DDS provided affidavit must be signed at the time of road testing to certify that this requirement has been meal. Note if the teen obtains the on-the-road component of driver's education from a certified instructor. A separate document affirming that this requirement has been met must be completed at the time of the road LCSL. If you have not completed the driver education requirements, you cannot obtain a Class D license. For information on approved driver education courses, see the DDS website, dds.gcords.gov. The Alcohol and Drug Awareness Program ADAPT is taught in most schools and is also available online via dds.gcords.gov. Conditions of a Class D Provisional License. A Class D license holder may not drive between the hours of 12 a.m. and 5 a.m. and zero exception S. During the first six months fall jowing issuance, only immediate family members may ride in the vehicle. Immediate family member includes the driver's parents and step-parents, grandparents, siblings and step-siblings, children, and any other person who resides at the driver's residence. During the second six months following issuance, only one passenger under 21 years of age who is not a member of the driver's immediate family may ride in the vehicle. After the first and second six-month periods, only three passengers under 21 years of age who are not members of the driver's immediate family may ride in the vehicle. A Class D license holder must, for the 12 months preceding application for their Class C license, be free from any convictions for major traffic violations that result in the mandatory suspension of a driver's license. Section 2 Obtaining a Usance, Perma, or Identification Carol, Class C license. For first dot dot time issuance of a Class C license, you must meet all requirements to obtain a real digit if you have not already done so. See page 6 for requirements. Need a Peach Pass. Register for one today at www.peachpass.com. Obtaining a Class C license, exchanging a Class D license, a Class D license holder may apply for a class license upon reaching the age of 18. That to obtain a last license, you must surrender. Applicant must have held a valid Class D I and said dare your previously issued last instructional until the age of 18 or for one year and one day. Permit CP or affirm on your application that without having been convicted of any major, you are unable to surrender the permit. You traffic violations in the 12 months preceding must also pass a road test designed to evaluate his or her application. Upon surrender of the class or ability to safely operate a motor vehicle, D license or affirmation on the application that see pages 1 minus 16 for more information related to the customer is unable to surrender the license of the road test. Upon surrender of the Class C, the applicant will be IU to Class C license at instructional permit P or affirmation under the cost of $32 for an eight-year license. No other application that you are unable to surrender the documentation or testing is required for U.S. permit. You will be issued a Class C license at Citizens. Sec pages 90 minus 20 for details concerning the cost of $32 for an eight-year license. You must sign IT licenses and permits. An affidavit verifying that you have completed 40 hours of supervised road driving which in obtaining a Class C license includes 6 hours of night driving C. Pages 15 minutes 16 exchanging a Class C instructional for details concerning low T licenses and permits. Permit CP a Class C instructional permit CP holder obtaining a Class C license may apply for a last license only if he or she applicant is not currently licensed has reached the age of 18 if you are at least 18 years of age and would. PSCHPS S alike to apply for a driver's license in Georgia for the first time you have two options. Immediately apply for a Class C driver's license. You must meet all documentation requirements listed on page 6 and successfully complete the knowledge and road test examination to see pages 12, 13. You must also sign an affidavit affirming that you have completed 40 hours of supervised road driving, which includes 6 hours of night driving. Apply for a Class C instructional permit CP, which a allows you to obtain practical driving experience under the supervision of a licensed driver. If you would like more information related to a Class C instructional permit CP knowledge test, please see page 12, section 2, obtaining a usance permit or identification card. State ID card for first-time issuance of a state ID card, you must meet all requirements to obtain a real ID DLL ID if you have not already done so. See page 6 for requirements. A state of Georgia ID card may be obtained at any DDS customer service center. The cost of this card varies depending on the type of card obtained. An 8 to year ID card is $32. All previous ID cards must be surrendered. If you no longer have possession of your previous driver's license slash JD card slash permit to surrender, you must provide a certified copy of your motor vehicle report MVR from the previous state. Upon submission of a referral from a DDS approved nonprofit agency, the applicant will be permitted to obtain an ID card at a cost of $5. A special ID card for persons with permanent disabilities is available for a term of eight years at a cost of $5.
A card for persons with temporary disabilities is also available for a term of six, six months at a cost of $5. This card serves as proof of the need for special transportation services, seating accommodations, and other facilities for the handicapped. Verification from a licensed physician may be required to obtain a permanent handicap ID and is always required to obtain or extend a temporary handicap ID. The fee for this card is waived for those who meet the quali6.cations listed on this page for a veteran's driver's license. Customers can also have the handicap symbol placed on any other type of license, permit, or identification card. Customers have the option to include certain medical information on the back of their card as well. This information is also available at our website, dds.georgia.gov. A voter registration JD is also available at no cost for any individual who swears under oath that the ID is needed in order to vote in an election in Georgia. All applicants for ID cards must provide proof of identity, proof of U.S. citizenship or lawful presence, proof of social security number or ineligibility for a social security number, and proof of Georgia residency. Sec pages 10 minus 11 for further information concerning these requirements. Other license types. Commercial driver's license detailed information concerning licensing requirements for commercial driver's licenses can be found in the commercial driver's manual as well as on the DDS website at dds.georgia.gov. Motorcycle operator's license detailed information concerning licensing requirements for motorcycle operator's licenses can be found in the motorcycle operator's manual as well as on the DDS website at dds.georgia.gov. Licenses for veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces and their spouses. Important veterans must bring their DD-214 to any DDS customer service center to be issued a free veteran's license. If they do not have a DD-214, obtain a Certificate of Eligibility DS-516 from the State Department of Veterans Service. Applicants must meet the following requirements for eligibility of a veteran's license. All veterans who are GIA citizens actively served and released with any discharge other than dishonorable are eligible for a free veteran's license slash ID card. The veteran should present their original DD-214 or a DS-516 issued by the State Department of Veterans Service to any DDS customer service center along with any other documentation needed to prove identity, lawful presence, and residency for issuance of the license see page 6. The State Department of Veterans Service will denote eligibility on the DS-516. Successfully pass a vision test for the initial issuance of a Class C veteran's license. To obtain any other class of license, you must successfully complete examinations for the class of license desired. Honorary license no FE, the spouse of a disabled, honorably separated veteran who does not have a driver's license, or the unmarried surviving spouse of a deceased, honorably separated veteran is entitled to the same license available to the veteran. An applicant for this type of license must meet the same requirements as those required for a veteran's license. For the unmarried surviving spouse, the death certificate along with LEID 214 must be submitted to the State Department of Veterans Service to obtain a certificate of eligibility. National Guard license. A free, distinctive license may be issued to any member of the Georgia National Guard or active reserves in good standing who has had active duty. A certificate of eligibility DS-318 form must be obtained from the local National Guard commanding officer and presented to any DDS customer service center. This license is renewable during the time of service in the National Guard or reserves until they're entitled to a veteran's license. The form DS-318 must be presented to the DDS upon every renewal of a National Guard license. New Georgia residents. General information, you must apply for a Georgia driver's license or permit within 30 days of becoming a Georgia resident if you wish to drive upon the highways of this state. Please see page four for more informa. Equals 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 colon CS non two obtaining a usance PIMR O identification card ATN about requirements to obtain a license or permit and exemptions for certain individuals. New Georgia resident without a valid license or permit issued by another state, please see the appropriate chapter of this manual for obtaining a license or permit for the first time in Georgia under 18 C teen licensing requirements on pages 26. 18 or older see page 6, transferring from another state or district of Columbia. Under age 18 with valid out-of-state license or permit you, you hold a valid driver's license or instructional permit issued by any other state of the United States or by the District of Columbia. You will minimally be eligible to obtain a comparable license or permit issued by Georgia. All Georgia requirements including school registration, driver education, and ADAP are required before the out-of-state license can be transferred. 18 or older with a valid out-of-state license or permit, you must surrender a valid license issued by another state or territory of the United States or by the District of Columbia expired less than two years. If you are unable to surrender a valid driver's license, you must present a certified motor vehicle report slash driving history from the state of issuance dated within 30 days showing your status as valid. Non-citizens are not required to surrender their foreign non-commercial license or permit. Be at least 18 years off a Georgia 17 years off age of surrendering a valid license equivalent to a Georgia Class C license with no time, route, purpose, or passenger restrictions. You must LR or full social security number, security which will be verified with the social. Thai administration provide proof of identity. For a complete list of acceptable documents, see page 6. Provide proof of citizenship or lawful presence in the United States. See page 6. All documents must be originals or certified copies. Fax copies will not be accepted. Provide two documents to prove Georgia residency. For a complete list of acceptable documents, see page 6. Pass a vision test. Transferring a license slash permit slash ID from another country or U.S. territory. You do not have the out-of-country license slash permit in your possession. You must pro. Buy a motor vehicle report slash driving history printed in English dated within the last 30 days from the country of license issuance. Most non-citizen customers with a valid out-of-country driver's license, permit, or ID may retain their out-of-country document upon issuance of a Georgia Quivagen T document. U.S. citizens will not be allowed to retain any licenses, pennants, or identification cards issued to them by foreign countries. Successfully complete the knowledge, road, and vision exams present mandatory documents to prove identity, citizenship, or lawful presence, social security number, and residency. See page 6 for the complete list. LF under the age of 18, additional RC requirements will apply. Please see pages 8-9 for more details on teen licensing requirements.
licenses, payments, and IDs issued outside the District of Columbia or any other state of the United States are non-transferable. A customer holding any document issued outside of the so states or District of Columbia must complete the full process for issuance of a new document in Georgia, including all tests required for the class being requested, if applicable. Citizens of certain foreign county DOTs may be exempt from knowledge and skills testing. For a list, visit dds.georgia.gov. All DMV are not alike! Exclamation. Beware of fake OMV websites that charge for training materials or informational material. Most customers arrive at these sites by doing a browser search for Georgia OMV, Georgia License Renewal, or similar generic searches. Please read the pages of these sites carefully, because by law they are required to inform users that the site is not affiliated with any state or government entity. They are privately owned sites that will have .com or .org at the end of their website address or queue the official state of Georgia websites will have .gov as is. The case with www.dds.georgia.gov 0 equals serial MGJ. Testing information. This section covers knowledge exam, 12 road signs, 12 road rules, 12 road test, 12 road test for OS C or D, 12 making road test reservations, 12 road test for OS M, 13 road test for class E and F non-commercial, 13 road test for ASA, B and C commercial, dot 13 results of pass slash fail, 13. Knowledge exam. Knowledge exams are given on a walk-in basis at every DDS customer service center statewide. To ensure that an applicant has adequate time to complete the knowledge exam, customers must begin taking the written test at least 30 minutes prior to closing. Please check the hours of operation before you visit on our website at dds.georgia.gov. We offer special assistance for customers with reading disabilities and hearing impairment. Please visit your local CSC to schedule an appointment for an oral exam or to schedule an interpreter for the hearing impaired. The road rules tests are available in some non-English languages, but AL drivers must show ability to read and understand simple English such as is used in highway traffic and directional signs. Road signs and the actual driving test are conducted in English only. These basic rules must be followed while a knowledge exam is being given colon. You may not bring pens, pencils, paper, or any other items into the testing area. All cell phones, text messaging devices, and other types of wireless devices are prohibited in the testing area. You may not speak to anyone during the test other than the examiner administering the test. Any violation of these rules is considered misconduct. If misconduct occurs during the administration of the knowledge exam, the exam session will be counted as a failure. The questions on the knowledge exam pertain to topics discussed in this manual and consist of following components colon. Road signs, a set of questions and theming off standard highway signs will be given. This test is given in English only. You will be asked to identify certain signs, signals, and markers. You must correctly answer 15 out of 20 questions to pass. You may take a practice test at dds.georgia.gov. Road rules. The road rules test consists of a set of questions about driver responsibility, knowledge of laws, and safe driving practices applicable to the class off license for which you are applying. You must correctly answer 15 out of 20 questions to pass. You may take a practice test at dds.georgia.gov. Road test. Making road test reservations. The road skills test is administered by appointment only. Appointments allow us to maximize our resources and to serve all of our customers more efficiently. To make an appointment, please visit DDS Online Services at dds.georgia.gov. Advanced Driver Assistance Systems Drivers may perform skills to in vehicles equipped with advanced driver assistance technology. However, the applicant must demonstrate their ability to operate the vehicle without such technology. Road test for Class C or D DDS will only administer a Class C or D road test in a four-wheel vehicle. You must provide the vehicle for the road test. All road test vehicles must have a valid registration slash license plate, or if equipped with a temporary dealership tag, the applicant must provide the bill of sale for proof of purchase within the last 30 days, 7 days if the vehicle is purchased from a third party. Your non-commercial road test may be administered in a virtual or traditional format virtual road test conducted remotely by an examiner who administers the test via a dual facing camera and a hands-free cellular device a parent guardian or other responsible adults 21 years of age or older must serve as a passenger in the testing vehicle they must have a valid driver's license traditional road test conducted by an examiner who administers the test while being seated in the passenger seat of the testing vehicle all road test vehicles must be covered by liability insurance you must show a valid insurance card or motor vehicle registration card that shows the vehicle and passes safety inspection if the vehicle is not equipped with illuminated TUM signals, you must be able to pass the road test as dotting hand signals. You may take the test in a rental vehicle. Please be advised that many rental agreements do not allow vehicle use for driver training or testing. Additionally, you must meet the following conditions. You must provide a copy of the rental contract. The contract will be reviewed to determine if testing is allowed. You must be listed as a driver on the rental contract. You must provide proof of valid insurance for the vehicle. The driving test will not be conducted if weather conditions or any other conditions are examiner determined to be unsafe for the driver. The DDS will make every effort to ensure that impacted customers are rescheduled as soon as possible. For the driving test, you will be expected to demonstrate your ability to do all of the following colon. Parallel parkings park midway between two standards so that your car is not more than 18 inches from the curb. The standard parallel parking dimensions utilized in the driver's license test are 22 feet in length by 10 feet in depth. Straight line backing back your car for a distance of approximately 50 feet at a slow rate of speed not more than 10 miles per hour straight and as smoothly as possible. You must turn your head and look behind the vehicle while backing. No boundary lines should be encroached. Stop for signs or traffic signals. Give the proper hand or brake signal. Approach in the proper lanes. Stop before reaching a pedestrian crosswalk and remain stopped until all pedestrians have cleared the crosswalk on the side of the roadway upon which you are traveling. Move through the intersection only when you may. Do so safely. Turn about. Turn your car in a narrow space using a three-point turn. Use of clutch. If your car has a manual HM's mission, you must shift smoothly and 
correctly approaching intersections and corners, you must be in the proper lane and look in both directions. Yielding right of way always yield right off way to pedestrians, vehicle operators, and bicyclists who move into the intersection before you by stopping and remaining stopped until they have cleared the intersection. Turning move into the proper lane and signal an adequate distance before the tum. Section 3. Testing Information Passing. Always check in front of and behind your vehicle to make sure you can safely pass without interfering with other traffic. Following, do not follow other cars too closely. Follow at a safe distance from the vehicle in front of you in order to maintain control of the vehicle in case of any emergency situation or abrupt stops or turns. Maintaining good posture, keep both hands on the steering wheel. Do not rest your elbow on the window and do not attempt to carry on a conversation with the examiner because he slash she will be busy giving instructions and recording your score. At the end of the class C slash D road test, the license examiner will gladly show you your score sheet and will provide you an opportunity to discuss the results if you wish to do so. You must achieve a minimum score of 75% to pass. Road test for OSM, you must furnish a motorcycle for the test and pass a safety inspection of the motorcycle by the license examiner before the driving test is given. All road test vehicles must have a valid registration slash license plate or if equipped with a temporary dealership tag, the applicant must provide the bill of sale for proof of purchase within the last 30 days. Motorcycle operator testing information is covered in the motorcycle operator's manual, which is available at all DDS customer service centers and online at dds.georgia.gov. If you hold a motorcycle pennant, you may schedule a motorcycle skills test appointment online at dds.georgia.gov. Motorcycle road tests cannot be conducted when the weather conditions make it unsafe for the driver or examiner, including when it is raining or when the pavement is damp. Road test for Class E and F non-commercial. There is no driving test for Classes E and F non-commercial. However, you must present an application for issuance of non-commercial E slash F license DS36, establishing your ability to operate vehicles within the particular class, and pass L edge test for that particular class. You must also possess or be eligible to obtain a CAS-C driver's license. CAS-E and F licenses are available to volunteer firefighters at no charge. Customers who wish to take the non-commercial CAS-E slash F exam should study the commercial driver's manual. The commercial driver's manual can be located online at dds.georgia.gov or customers can obtain a hard copy at any DDS customer service center. Road test for Class A, B, and C commercial. Commercial vehicle operators testing information is covered in the Georgia Commercial Driver's Manual, which is available at all DDS customer service centers and online at dds.georgia.gov. You may schedule a commercial skills test appointment online at www.dds.georgia.gov. Pursuant to zero, GA Section 4-5-25 and DDS Rule 1-1.097, the $50 commercial driver sent CDL road skills test fees now required for each testing attempt. Results of pass slash fail. If you pass all the tests, you will be issued a temporary license slash permit. Your permanent license slash permit will be mailed to you. If you fail any part of the Class C or D knowledge or road test, and it is your colon, else in failure, you must wait until the next day before retaking the portion you have failed. Second or subsequent failure, you must wait seven days before retaking the portion you have failed. For CDL testing information, please consult the Georgia CDL manual. Location information. For a complete list of customer service centers and their hours of operation, please visit the DDS website at dds.georgia.gov or https colon slash slash dds.georgia.gov slash location slash customer service center. Please remember that Tuesday is always the busiest day and the best time to visit in person is the middle of the week during the middle of the day. Zero equals zero L four J O D or services renewal for individuals and information temporarily located out of the state of Georgia. Renewal by mail is offered for certain groups of individuals who must be away from the state of Georgia at the time renewal of their license is required. Supporting documentation, a completed application and payment of fee if required must be submitted to verify that the applicant is eligible to renew in this manner. This service is available to the following groups colon. Customers stationed out of state on active military duty, their spouse and any dependents living with them. Full-time students attending school outside Georgia, their spouse and any dependents living with them. Customers who are physically incapacitated and unable to visit a DDS customer service center may be issued an ID card only. Donations. 16 Elvis service is subject to the following restrictions colon. The renewal will be granted for an 8 year renewal period, at the end of which the license holder must appear in person for renewal. A driver's license that has been expired for 2-2 two, two or more years cannot be renewed by mail. This section covers renewal for individuals temporarily located out of the state of Georgia. 14 License, Permit, or Identification Card Number Changes. 14 Voter Registration. 14 Lost or Stolen License Replacement. 15 DDS Online Services. 15 Address Change. 16 Name Change. 16 Motor Vehicle Reports MVR. 16 Selective Service Registration. 16 Changes Name, Address, etc. must be made in person at a DDS Customer Service Center. Changes cannot be made using the mail method of renewal. Customers who choose to renew their license in this manner will not receive a real DL slash ID. To download the application package and complete instructions, please visit our website at dds.georgia.gov. License, permit, or identification card number changes. No licenses or identification cards may be issued in Georgia with a social security number as the document number. You, your license, permit, or identification card number is identical to your social security number. A randomly generated document number will be assigned to your document during the issuance slash renewal process. Once your number has changed, you will need to ensure that any companies or entities using your driver's license, permit, or identification card number for tracking or verification purposes such as insurance companies are aware of this change. Interest in registering to vote. DDS docs not register customers to vote. DDS does confidentially transmit customer information needed to begin the voter registration process to the Georgia Secretary of State's Office SOS. Ultimately, each county voter registrar is responsible for completing voter registration, including the issuance of a voter registration card. There is a voter registration section on each DDS license slash ID issuance application as required by law. 
In that section, customers are notified that their information will be used for voter registration purposes unless they choose otherwise. There is also a clear opt-out box that the customers can check if they do not wish low register low vote or update their information. Once the information is transmitted to the SOS, it is made accessible to the county registrars for processing and updating their voter records. Important points sasgovernorgov slash index.php slash elections. If you do not receive your voter registration card within 30 days, contact your county voter registration office to determine the status of your application. Choosing this option does not guarantee that your voter registration information will be processed in time to meet specific election deadlines. If you want to register to vote for a particular dictin, please contact your county voter registration office to ensure that your most current registration information is recorded prior to the applicable voter registration deadline. Visit http colon slash slash sas.gov slash index.php slash elections for dot information. FL. Section 4. Other services and information lost or stolen license replacement. Customers may apply for a replacement driver's license and slash ID card at a local DDS customer service center or online. You you choose to apply online, you will go through an authentication process in order to verify identity. If you wish to apply at a DDS customer service center, you will be required to show proof of identity. The fee online and a DDS customer service enter is 10. The following documents will be acceptable proof of identity for a replacement Georgia driver's license, permit, or identification card. DDS onion services to save time, go online, try DDS online services, license, permit, and ID card services asterisk. Make a road test appointment, change your address, reinstate your driver's license, request an ID card, must have renew your driver's license, valid license, or permit and file permit or ID card, check license status and moving, replace a lost driver's license, violation points, permit, or ID card, check CDL self-certification and upgrade a class D license medical document status to OC license, get suspension information. One of these documents, certified copy of birth certificate with raised or impressed seal, certificate of naturalization or certificate of GTISN IP, expired Georgia driver's license, permit or identification card, U.S. passport or passport card must be valid, consular report of birth abroad, expired Georgia interim, continued on next page. Other services available immediately create a secure user account, a super speeder suspension, and track updates to your license status. Take a practice written test for conduct multiple services at one time. A regular driver's license view and slash or download a copy of download. Be the most recent your driving history MBR version of the driver's manual. Request a certified driving history MBR complete and submit form to DDS pay failure to appear fee or reinstate before arriving for service. A failure to appear suspension. Apply for for higher license pay super speeder fee or reinstate endorsement. Register for a motorcycle safety course. Asterisk some online services are available if all requirements are met, including completion of real ID requirements. See page 6 for details. Section 4. Other services and information. Non-U.S. citizens. Valid foreign passport with valid I-94. Valid permanent resident card L-551. Valid employment authorization card L-766 or 688 or I-6888 with proof of pending application to adjust status or two of these documents only if replacing license, permit, or ID card colon. Social security card original or copy. Original or certified copy of marriage certificate. Previous year's income tax return or W-2. Current auto, home, life, or health insurance policy cards not ace tip. Current auto registration receipt. Voter registration card, valid or expired military ID card and slash or military orders. Valid Georgia gun permit. Port check stub. To change the number on your replacement Georgia driver's license, permit, or identification card, you will be required to present a police report indicating that the license was stolen unless your license number and your social security number are the same. If the two numbers are the same, no police report is required. Address change. You must update your record with DDS anytime your address changes. DDS correspondence will not be forwarded to new addresses by the U.S. Postal Service. If you have moved, you must visit a DDS customer service center within 60 days to update your mailing and slash your residential address, or you may visit our website at dds.georgia.gov to change your address. If you change your address in person, you must provide proof of the change in address. If you change your address online, your new address will be verified through USPS. Name change. Name changes must be completed in person at a DDS customer service center. LF you change your name by marriage or other legal action, you must obtain a new license showing the correct name within 60 days. A free replacement license valid for the current term will be issued once in a license term. LN order to change your name on your license or identification card, you must present a certified copy of a marriage license application if the marriage occurred in Georgia marriage license, a state-issued marriage certificate, or court-ordered name change. You may change to a hyphenated surname on your license or identification card if the marriage occurred in the state of Georgia on or after November 1, 1982, a certified copy of the marriage license application reflecting the selection of the hyphenated surname must be presented at the time of the request. Motor Vehicle Reports MVR MVRS are available in 3 to year, 7 to year, or lifetime formats. A 3-year report is $6, a 7-year report is $8, a lifetime report is $8. L individuals may obtain a copy of their MVR in any of the following ways. One by internet and non-certified copy off your motor vehicle report. MVR can be downloaded by using DDS online services. Please visit dds.georgia.gov for further details. You'll be required to create an account if you have not already done so to. In person, a certified copy of your motor vehicle report MVR can be purchased in person at any DDS customer service center. Proper identification will be required. If obtaining a motor vehicle report other than your own, the following is required colon. Completion of the request for MVR form DDS 18 from the licensee naming the person authorized to receive the record including the full name, date of birth, and Georgia driver's license number of the licensee. The person receiving the report for another individual must also show proper identification. 3. Via mail you can obtain a certified copy of your MVR by submitting the request for MVR form DDS 18 or a letter requesting either a 3-year, 7-year, or lifetime MVR including the following. 
Your full name as it appears on your driver's license, driver's license number, date of birth, and complete mailing address. Request may be mailed to Georgia Department of Driver Services, MVR request, post office box 80,447, Caneers, Georgia 30,013. When requesting a MVR, please include a money order, cashier's check, or personal check made payable to the Department of Driver Services in the amount of $6 for a 3 to year or $8 for a 7 to year or lifetime MVR selective service registration. At the time of any license or identification card transaction, DDS is required to ask males age 18 whether they have registered with the U.S. Selective Service System and to report the responses to the U.S. Selective Service System blindness donation. When you obtain your driver's license, permit, or ID, you will have the opportunity to make a voluntary donation of $1 to Georgia's Blindness Education Screening and Treatment Program, which is administered by the Georgia Department of Public Health. Donations currently fund vision programs which provide screenings to save children's vision, eye exams for needy adults, training for people who have lost vision, and public education about eye donation. Your voluntary donation will be added to the total cost of your service. Organ and Tissue Donation The Donate Life Georgia Organ, Tissue, and Eye Donor Registry was created in 2008 to allow Georgians an easy and user-friendly means of joining the state's donor registry. Georgians can join the registry through the website at www.donatelifejudge.org when renewing their driver license or ID online or when obtaining slash renewing their license or ID at a local DDS customer service center. You can also join the donor registry by calling Donate Life Georgia directly at 1 minus 866 minus 57 share 18665774273 and requesting a donor registry form. Other things to remember, organ donation can occur only after every measure has been taken to save your life and only after death has been legally and medically declared. Georgia law prohibits the physician who declares a patient dead from participating in the removal or transplantation of that patient's donated organs or tissues. There is no cost to the donor's family for any expenses related to organ tissue donation. Also, there is no delay in funeral or arrangements. Georgia law requires hospitals to notify an organ slash tissue slash eye recovery center when a donation is possible. Recipients are selected by urgency of need, compatibility of blood type, body size, and tissue type, regardless of sex, race, or creed. More information concerning organ and tissue donation can be found at www.organdonor.gov.gsfa donation. DDS offers the opportunity to make a voluntary charitable contribution of $1, $5, or $10 to the Georgia Student Finance Authority GSF during the license issuance or renewal process. Pursuant to HB 54 2016, this donation will EIP to provide financial assistance toward the post secondary educational costs of the children of law enforcement officers, firefighters, paramedics, emergency medical technicians, and prison guards employed by the state or other public employer who are permanently disabled or killed in the line of duty. Tow children of highway emergency response operators who we are, e permanently disabled or killed in the line of duty are also included. Zero equals zero L zero traffic laws, laws governing right of way. 17 Georgia's move over law. 18 passing. 18 how to pass on a two lane road. 18 passing is prohibited on T lane roads. 18 passing is pendant when. 19 passing on the right. 19 when someone passes you. 19 passing stop cars. 19 passing bicyclists. 19 passing motorcyclists. 19 weaving. 19 tum signals and making tum safety. 19 illegal signals. 19 how to make a right tum. 19. How to make hail of tum. 19. Watching for pedestrians when making turns. 20. Lay is. 20. Making tums on multi-lane highways. 20. Stopping, standing, and par 1 20. Steps to parallel parking. 20. Backing up. 21. Traveling speed. 21. Super speeder. 21. Speed limits. 21. Driving too slowly. 21. Railroad crossings. 21. Highway war in less than zones. 22. Reduce your speed. 22. Obey the signs. 22. Obey raggers. 22. Yield to amber lights in work zones. 22. Adjust your lane position. 22. Yield to mobile work vehicles. 22. Work zone driving tips. 22. Other laws. 23. Controlled access roadways. 23. Coasting. 23. Driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. 23. Reckless driving. 23. Racing. 23. Aggressive driving. 23. Drag racing slash reckless stunt driving. 23. Trucks and vehicles pulling trailers. 23. Riding in trailers. 23. Median SD lip. 23. Impaired hearing and vision. 23. Obstructing the driver's view. 23. Opening vehicle doors. 23. One-way streets. 23. Stopping. 23. Use headlights properly. 24. Night driving. 24. Georgia's litter control law. 24. Safety belts. 24. Safety restraints for children. 24. Distracted driving slash following emergency vehicles. 24. Texting slash cell phones slash passing mail carriers. 25. Three most basic traffic laws. The three most basic traffic laws require drivers to 1. Obey traffic control devices, lights, and signs. 2. Obey the traffic directions of a law enforcement officer or firefighter, even if it goes against what the traffic control devices tell you to do. 3. Never drive on a roadway that has been dosed for construction, for the purpose of a special event, or for any other official reason. Traffic laws are necessary to prevent crashes by defining the orderly movement of vehicles, pedestrians, and other users of public highways. Remember, traffic laws exist for your safety. Failure to obey them can result in crashes that may seriously injure or kill you or others. To obey the laws, you must first know and understand them. Laws governing right-of-way. Right-of-way is a phrase used to describe who is the lawful authority to enter a roadway, change lanes with dot in a roadway, make a tum from a roadway, travel through an incus dot greater sanction, or make any other traffic-related movement. Georgia law establishes right-of-way in all situations. Vehicle drivers, including bicyclists and pedestrians, should always understand the rules related to right-of-way and remember that right-of-way is something to be given, not taken. There may be instances in which you as a driver or a pedestrian have the legal right-of-way over someone else, even though the other person does not realize it and is not obeying the rules of the road. 
In those instances, the right-of-way should be yielded in order to prevent a crash. The following is a list of the most common situations in which right-of-way questions are faced in real life. When traveling on a roadway that intersects with another roadway, if you are faced with a stop sign, but other traffic is not, you may proceed only after stopping and yielding the right-of-way to any other vehicle or pedestrian either in the intersection, or so dose to the intersection as to make it dangerous to travel through the intersection. At intersections where there are no stop signs, yield signs, or other traffic signals, if two vehicles come to the intersection at the same time, the driver of the vehicle on the left must yield to the driver of the vehicle on the right. At a four-way intersection where all drivers are faced with stop signs, all drivers must yield to pedestrians, otherwise the vehicle should proceed through the intersection in a first to arrive, first to proceeds order. If two vehicles reach the intersection at approximately the same time, yield to any vehicles on your right. Important points to remember. Take your tongue when it comes if it is safe to do so. Do not unnecessarily delay traffic. If another driver tries to take your turn, even if you have the right of way, let the other driver proceeds. It might prevent a traffic crash, care, courtesy, and common sense should govern your actions. When making a left turn at an intersection or into an alley or driveway, yield the right-off way to all traffic coming from the opposite direction. When approaching a yield sign, slow down to a safe speed and be prepared to stop. If necessary, stop and only proceeds when it is safe to do so. When the roadway you are traveling on is merging into other traffic without stopping, adjust your speed and vehicle position to allow you to merge into the new lane safely. If traffic from another roadway is merging into the roadway you are traveling on, safely change lanes away from the merging traffic if possible. If it is not possible to change lanes away from the merging traffic, adjust your speed and vehicle position to safely allow the traffic to merge. At intersections with traffic control lights, wait until the intersection is dear of traffic or approaching traffic before entering. Do not proceed just because you have the green light. If you are about to enter across a highway from an alley, private road, or highway, you must stop and yield the right of way to all other pedestrians and vehicles already traveling on the roadway or sidewalk you are entering or crossing. If emergency vehicles are using their emergency lights of blue or red and sirens, safely maneuver your vehicle out of their way. You should slow your vehicle and move over to the shoulder of the road, or if that is not possible, as far to the right of the roadway or lane as you can and stop you. Should always use caution to ensure that you do not endanger other motorists, bicyclists, or pedestrians while doing so. Do not position your vehicle so that it blocks an intersection or otherwise prevents the emergency vehicle from making a necessary turn. Yield to all highway maintenance vehicles and workers in a construction zone. Unless a sign posted at the intersection prohibits doing so, it is permissible to make a right turn on red at an intersection con. Trolled by a traffic control light, you may proceed only after making a complete stop, yielding to all traffic and pedestrians and making the determination that you can safely complete the tum. Unless a sign posted at the intersection prohibits doing so, it is permissible to make a left turn on red from the left lane of a one-way street onto a one-way street in which the traffic moves toward the driver's left. You may proceed only after making a complete stop, yielding to all traffic and stopping for pedestrians and making the determination that you can safely complete the turn. When a school bus is preparing to stop to load or unload children, the driver of the bus will activate flashing yellow lights. When these flashing yellow lights are activated, all drivers approaching the school bus should slow down and be prepared to stop. All drivers should pay special attention to children who may be walking along or crossing the roadway. Once the flashing lights have turned red and the stop signs have extended from the side of the bus, it is unlawful for any vehicle to pass the stop school bus while it is loading or unloading passengers. On a highway divided by a median, cars traveling on the opposite side from the stop school bus are not required to top over drivers should remain attentive for children walking along or crossing the roadway, passing how to pass on a two-lane road. Wait for a passing zone to begin. A passing zone is indicated by striped lines to the right of the center line of the roadway. If the line nearest your vehicle is solid, you are not in a passing zone. Look ahead along the roadway to determine the length of the passing zone, and if there is traffic approaching from the opposite direction, you must have sufficient time and space to execute your passing maneuver and return your vehicle completely to the right lane before the passing zone ends, before entering an intersection, and before oncoming traffic is within 200 feet of your vehicle. Before leaving your lane to begin passing, check your rear view and side mirrors, and turn your head and look back to check your blind spot. Be certain that no one is passing you. Activate your left turn signal as you begin passing. Pass on the left and do not return to the right lane until your vehicle is safely clear of the overtaken vehicle. Wait until you can see the car you have just passed in your rear view mirror. Activate your right turn signal before returning to the right lane. Be sure to thumb your signal off once you have returned to the right lane. Passing is prohibited on two-lane roads colon. An area marked by a solid yellow line on the right of the center line or a do out pass sign or double yellow lines within 100 feet of a railroad crossing. Within 100 feet of a bridge, viaduct, or tunnel. When a car approaching from Apple I direction makes passing unsafe or will be the move over law. All 50 states have move-over laws to protect law enforcement officers and other workers stopped on our nation's roads. Georgia's move-over law helps ensure highway safety for motorists, emergency personnel, active sanitation workers, and utility service warriors when their vehicles are stopped on the side of the roadway. This law was created to reduce the number of injuries and fatalities to police officers, paramedics, firefighters, wrecker operators, and highway construction workers by maintaining an open buffer lane between passing highway traffic and authorized roadside emergency vehicles displaying traffic cones and slasher vehicles displaying flashing lights. In Georgia, this law requires motorists to colon flashing yellow, amber, white, red, or blue lights. It was amended to include active sanitation workers and utility service workers who are utilizing. Move over to the next lane if safely possible. If unable to move over, then slow down below the speed limit and be prepared to stop. This law applies to any emergency sanitation or utility service vehicle parked on the shoulder of the roadway. Why was the move over law passed? It saves lives. The move over law helps providing a buffer lane for these vehicles maintain traffic flow and protect the safety when parked on the roadway shoulder of motorists. Emergency personnel active actually reduces the risk of another crash. 
sanitation workers, and utility service workers. When the required clearance is given top these types of vehicles, the margin of vehicles parked on the side of the safety is increased, not only for public roadway are vulnerable to crashes, even safety, emergency personnel active when emergency lights are flashing. Sanitation workers and utility service more police officers are killed by traffic workers, but for motorists and their crashes than in any other line duty passengers as well. Cause of death. More than one-fourth of those killed are struck by passing vehicles, it's the law, while they work outside their patrol cars. Violations can result in a fine of no more. How does the move over than $500 for the first offense? Law make a difference. The move over law is another reason to slow down on the highways and 30% of all crashes occur as the interstates. Result of another crash. Safely change lanes when approaching any emergency, sanitation, or utility service vehicle. FL. Within 200 feet of your vehicle prior to the completion of a passing maneuver, on a hill or curve where it is not possible to see oncoming vehicles which might be close enough to be a hazard, on the shoulder of the road. When a school bus is stopped to load or unload passengers, passing is permitted when lawfully overtaking and passing another vehicle going in the same direction. An obstruction makes it necessary to drive to the left of the center line, but only after yielding to oncoming traffic. A roadway includes two or more marked lanes in the same direction. A roadway with more than one lane is restricted to one-way traffic. Upon a multi-lane, two-way highway, you must never drive to the left of the center line except when authorized to do so by traffic control signals or signs or when making a left turn into an alley, private road, or driveway. A pedestrian to cross the roadway, their vehicle may block your view of the pedestrian. Passing bicycles. Motorists should approach bicycles with due caution and shall proceed as follows. Violation is a misdemeanor punishable by a time up to $250. Make a lane change into a lane not adjacent to the bicycle if possible in existing road and traffic conditions or, if a lane change is impossible, prohibited by law, or unsafe, reduce the speed of the motor vehicle to a reasonable and proper speed for the traffic conditions which speed shall be at least 10 miles per hour less than the posted speed limit or 25 miles per hour, whichever is more and proceeds around the bicycle with at least 3 feet between the vehicle and the bicycle at all times. Passing motorcyclists A motorcyclist legally occupies the full width of a single lane when traveling. When passing a motorcyclist, a driver must pass in an adjacent lane. Drivers are not permitted to occupy them. Passing on the right same lane as a motorcyclist while passing them, which is making or about to make a left thumb of weaving you may pass on the right of another vehicle. There is sufficient movement with K greater than or both to R. It is unlawful to weave from one lane of traffic and the vehicle making the left turn. Fick to another in order to move faster than the on a multi-lane highway carrying two or more multi-lane highway and pass slower moving you may also pass on the right when traveling flow of traffic. A motorist may change lanes on lanes of traffic in the same direction. Vehicles only when it is safe to do so. A driver signaling to change lanes should be clearly and when someone passes you dictated so as to warn vehicles of movement. When a driver behind you is overtaking, turn signals and your vehicle be alert for any unsafe actions by the other driver. LT is considered courteous making turns safely to reduce your speed slightly, making it easier for the other vehicle to pass you. It is unlawful to increase your speed before you have been turned movements by motor vehicles or review pass completely by the overtaking vehicle. Lated by law and failure to observe or comply as a violation, drivers must know and understand passing stop cars the law in order to tum safely and avoid crashes. Stop whenever any vehicle is stopped to permit a pedestrian to cross the roadway at a marked crosswalk or at any unmarked crosswalk and at an intersection the driver of any other vehicle approaching from the rear shall not overtake and pass the stopped vehicle. When stopping to allow a pedestrian to cross in front of you, leave sufficient room between your vehicle and the crosswalk then so that approaching traffic can see the entirety of the crosswalk. Slow down and prepare to stop if you are approaching an intersection where other vehicles are stopped even though the traffic control devices indicate they are authorized to proceed if they are stopped because they are allowing. Right turn. A turn signal must be given whenever a tum is made to the right or the left. You must give a continuous tum signal for an adequate distance to alert other drivers before turning. Never decide to make a tum at the last minute. Turning quickly or erratically can be dangerous to you and other drivers. Illegal signals. It is against the law to flash tum signals as a courtesy or do pass signal to other drivers in the rear. How to make a right turn using appropriate signals and giving drivers ahead of and behind you adequate notice. Activate your right turn signal. Approach the intersection in the right lane, staying as close as practicable to the curb or edge of the roadway. If there is a bicycle lane on the road on which you are traveling, you must yield to bicyclists traveling straight through the intersection before making a right tum. Make the tum in such a way as to end up in the right lane of the street into which you have turned and avoid entering any other lane of traffic. If there are multiple turning chains on the street you are too ming from complete the turn so that your vehicle ends up in the corresponding lane on the street you are turning on. How to make a left turn using appropriate signals and giving drivers ahead of and behind you adequate notice. Activate your left turn signal, move into the far left lane of the direction in which you are traveling or into the turning lane if one is provided. Keep your wheel straight until you begin making the turn. Yield the right of way to J.I. vehicles, including bicycles, which are approaching from the opposite direction and pedestrians crossing either roadway. When safe to do so, and when traffic signals slash signs permit, make your turn so that your vehicle ends up in the lane closest to the center lane as in your direction of traffic on the street you two met onto or closest to the center I. And if there is no center lane, I'll if there are multiple turning lanes on the street you are turning from, complete the turn so that your vehicle ends up in the corresponding lane on the street you are tuming onto. Once you have entered an intersection to make a left tum, you cannot change lanes in the intersection. You must stop and remain stopped for any pedestrians in the crosswalk of the road you are turning onto until they have cleared the lanes of traffic that you are traveling on. Watching for pedestrians when making turns at most intersections where there is a pedestrian signal, the wall signal of the crossing street corresponds to the green light of the roadway you are traveling on. This means that when you are authorized to tum, pedestrians are authorized to cross the street onto which you are turning at the same time. Therefore, before making your tum, you must stop and remain stopped for any pedestrians in the crosswalk of the road onto which you wish to turn until they have cleared the lanes of traffic upon which you are traveling. U-turns do not make a U-turn on a curve or near the top of a hill IJ. You cannot be seen by other D-River approaching from either direction. Do not make a U-tum where signs prohibit doing so. Making tums on multi-lane highways on a multi-lane, 
two-way highway, you must never drive to the left of the center line except when making a left tum. If traffic W entral nails signs are present, you may only complete the tum when authorized to do so by the traffic C entral signal source signs. When I'm making left turns, you must always yield to oncoming traffic and DW8 for pedestrians to clear the lanes of traffic, driveway, sidewalk, or alley or returning into, stopping J standing, and parting. It is against the law to park on the highway. If the vehicle is disabled, you should make every practical effort to park off the highway, leaving free passage and a clear view of your vehicle for 200 feet in each direction. Stopping, standing, or parking is not permitted under the following conditions at any time colon. On the street side of any parked vehicle, on a sidewalk, within an intersection, on a crosswalk, between a safety zone and the adjacent curb, alongside or opposite any street excavation or obstruction when stopping, standing, or parking would obstruct traffic, upon a bridge or overpass or within a highway tunnel, on any railroad tracks, on a controlled access roadway. In the area between roadways on a divided highway, including crossovers, at any place marked by a no parking sign, standing or parking is permitted only momentarily to pick up or drop off passengers under the following conditions, in front of a public or private driveway, within 15 feet of a fire hydrant, within 20 feet of a crosswalk at an intersection, within 30 feet of a stop sign, yield sign, or traffic control signal, within 20 feet of a fire station driveway, within 75 feet of the spot across the street from a fire station driveway, within 50 feet of a railroad crossing, at any place where official signs prohibit standing. Steps to parallel parking. When attempting to parallel park, drive past the parking space you wish to use and stop when you are approximately even with the car ahead of the pace you should be approximately two feet from the other car door to door. It's the law. Will Colney. Lyon meant parallel parking diagram. Keep age except to pass. The slow poke law house bill 459. Slower drivers must move out of the passing lane most left-hand lanes and over to the right to allow faster moving traffic to proceed. Regardless of the speed you are traveling, you must move from the lane when faster traffic is approaching. The only exceptions are colon. When traffic conditions make it necessary, when your vehicle must be driven in the to drive in the passing lane, passing lane to exit or turn left, when inclement weather, obstructions, or when it is necessary to pay a toll or use a hazards make it necessary to drive in the pass on toll highways passing lane, authorized emergency vehicles engage when compliance with the law of this state and official duties or with an official traffic control device makes it necessary to drive in the passing vehicles engaged in highway maintenance lane and construction operations. FL. Turn your wheel sharply to the right and back slowly toward the car behind the space you wish to use. As your front door passes the back bumper of the car ahead of the space you wish to use, quickly straighten your wheels and continue to back diagonally into the space in a straight line. When your front bumper is completely clear of the car ahead of you, turn your wheel sharply to the left and back slowly toward the car behind you. Stop before making contact with the car behind you. Replace the car and drive. Tum your wheel sharply to the right and pull toward the center of the parking space. Always give the appropriate tum signal prior to beginning your parking maneuver and when you exit from a parallel parking space. Backing up. Before backing, check all sides of your vehicle to make sure it is safe to do so. You should turn your head and look over your right shoulder while backing. Do not depend on your mirrors. For buses and large vehicles, the driver should use all mirrors and utilize a reliable person to observe and direct while backing the vehicle. Traveling speed super speed or any driver convicted of speeding 75 miles per hour or more on a 2 Jane road or 8.5 miles per hour or more on any road in Georgia will be assessed a $200 state fee. The state fee will be in addition to any local fines imposed in the jurisdiction where the speeding offense occurs. Failure to pay the tech fee on time will result in a license suspension and additional $50 reinstatement fee. Speed limits maximum traveling peakles are determinical based on the following general rules in Georgia unless otherwise posted colon. 30 miles per hour in any urban or residential district. 35 miles per hour on an unpaved county road. 70 miles per hour on a rural interstate. 65 miles per hour on an urban interstate or on a multi-lane dividical highway. 55 miles per hour in all other areas. These are only general rules. Local jurisdictions, the Georgia Department of Transportation or the Georgia Department of Public Safety may deem it necessary to adjust speed limits based on local conditions, whether temporary or permanent. Always watch for speed limit signs while driving. Some areas, such as school zones or construction zones, may be posted for lower maximum speed limits at certain at times off day or for a short period of time. Get out immediately. It is important to pay close attention to road signs while driving to ensure that when you move away, approach a speed zone, whether temporary, locate emergency notification systems, ENS sign, or permanent. You will have sufficient time to containing emergency contact information. Adjust your speaker accordingly. Call for help. Tell them a vehicle is on the tracks. Driving too slowly, drivers are prohibited from driving a motor vehicle at such a slow speed as to impede the normal and reasonable movement of traffic. EX Sepuahena recluse vehicle is necessary for safe operation. On road with two or more lanes, drivers cannot continue to operate a motor vehicle in the passing lane if the driver is being overtaken by a motor vehicle traveling at a higher rate of speed from behind. Penalties include fine UPTO $1,000 and D slasher 3 P points on the driving record. When there are two or more lanes for traffic moving in the same direction, slower vehicles should use the right lane except when passing or making a left turn. Driving too slowly is dangerous because it impacts the regular flow of traffic. Minimum speed limits are posted on certain highways. RF, you are unable to drive at the minimum speed. You should seek an alternate route. Railroad crossings. You must always stop within 50 feet, but not less than 15 feet, from the nearest rail of a railroad crossing when any of the following apply. The signal is flashing. The crossing gates are lowered. A flagman is giving a signal. A train is approaching so closely as to create an immediate hazard. A train gives a warning signal and is an immediate hazard due to its speed or nearness to the crossing. A stop sign is posted. Under no circumstances should a motorist drive through, around, or under any crossing gate while the gate I lorical. After topping, remain stopped until all tracks are clear, all railroad crowing warning signals stop flashing, the crossing gates are raised, and it is safe to proceed. 7 Steps for Safety at Highway Rail Grade Crossing School in 1. Approach with care. 2. Prepare to stop. 3. Look both ways and listen carefully. 4. If it won't fit, don't commit. 
Do not enter a crossing unless you can drive completely through without stopping. 5. Look again. 6. Cross tracks with care. Z. Keep going once you start. Do your vehicle tall on the truck as do the following. Section 5 and coal Niaphic laws a highway work zones. In an effort to minimize inconvenience, the Georgia Department of Transportation, GDOT, conducts most road construction and maintenance without dosing roads to traffic. This poses a traffic hazard FD drivers and their PIS centers as well as the crew members working on the road. Over half of all fatal injuries to road wall colon seekers are caused by being struck by a motor vehicle and a third of these by vehicles intruding into the workspace. Since 1973, 169 GDOT workers have lost their lives in work zones. However, motorists are more likely to be killed or injured in work zone crashes than GDOT workers. The general public accounts for 82% of work zone fatalities nationwide. Highway work zones are defined as portions of a highway or street where construction, reconstruction, or maintenance work is being done to the road, its shoulders, or any other areas near the roadway. This definition also includes mobile work such as underground and overhead utility maintenance, snow removal, and land surveying activities. Highway work zones are set up according to the type of road and the work to be done on the road. Signing, roadway markings, and flaggers are used to direct drivers safely through work zones or carefully mock hole and seek head deters. Motorists are responsible for knowing how to read and react to these directions. Paying attention and driving cautiously and courteously are the most important steps to preventing crashes while driving through a work zone. Watch for the color orange. It means road work. Obey the signs warning signs and work zones have an orange background and be like letters or symbols. They are used with other traffic control devices or flaggers to help direct traffic safely through work areas and to protect drivers, their passengers, and highway workers. Reduce your speed for safety reasons. The speed limit in most work zones is reduced. If the speed limit is not reduced in a work zone, drivers should obey the normal posted speed limit for the road on which they are traveling, but be more cautious of road conditions, lane position, and the presence of workers. Advisory speed limits are used to identify safe speeds for specific conditions why thin a work W and E. These black and orange signs are always used with warning signs. Official speed limit reduction requirements will be indicated with the standard black and white speed limit signs. Motorists who disobey regulatory speed limits in a work zone may be found guilty of a misdemeanor of a high and aggravated nature and will be punished by a fine of not less than $100 nor more than $2,000, or by imprisonment for a term not to exceed 12 months or both. Obey flaggers. Flaggers are people used to direct traffic through and around work zones. Want a work zone? A flagger has the same authority as a regulatory sign. Do not disobey a flagger's traffic control directions. Yield to mobile work vehicles. Some road work can be performed without actually dosing lanes of travel. Pavement maintenance, debris removal, paint striping, utility work, and snow removal are examples of work accomplished while moving in traffic. Vehicles used in performing this type of work and CK will have flashing amber lights and may have flashing arrows directing traffic to merge left or right. They adjust your lane position. Vehicles may also display signs for the purpose. Travel lanes are likely to be dosed in work of directing traffic or indicating hazardous conditions and lane patterns may change as the work tions progresses. Sometimes workers must operate within inches or feet of an open lane of traffic. When lanes are dosed or narrowed or workers are operating on the roadway near traffic, change lanes away from them if possible or shift slightly v.trif in the boundaries of your lane to give added distance between your vehicle and the worker. This will provide extra protection for you, your passengers, and the workers along the road. Anyway, yield to amber lights in work zones. Work vehicles and heavy equipment will typically have flashing or revolving amber lights. You must yield the right of way to these vehicles. Reduce your speed as you approach any work zone where vehicles have amber lights displayed. Do your part to help protect the men and women who work hard to make Georgia roads among the best in the nation. These vehicles usually work at very slow speeds, such as 5 miles per hour, and may occasionally be stationary in the roadway. For your safety and the safety of others to slow down, yield the right zero Fahrenheit's way to these work vehicles and follow any directions displayed by the work vehicles. The William MF L&E 100 common signs seen in and around work zones cautioning drivers. Work zone driving tips. When you travel through a work zone, remember these four tips. 1. Reduce your speed. 2. Watch for speed limit signs. Fines are increased in most work zones. 3. Adjust your lane position away from workers. 4. Prepare for the unexpected. FL is Section 5 Traffic Laws. Other laws. Controlled access roadways. You are prohibited from entering or leaving. Any controlled access roadway at unauthorized entrances or exits. Certain types of vehicles may be prohibited. On controlled access roadways if signs are posted to this effect. Backing up is prohibited on controlled access roadways. An example of a controlled access roadway includes any toll facility in Georgia such as the I-85 express lanes or the reversible I-75 express lanes. The toll lanes in Georgia require motorists to mount a registered Peach Pass transponder in their vehicle in order to access the lanes. Peach Pass can also be used in Florida and North Carolina. Registered owners of the vehicle that enters the toll lane without an active Peach Pass will receive a violation notice in the mail. You are prohibited from entering the Revere's it will express lanes when the access control gates are closed or closing. Racing the following behaviors are considered racking on highways and streets when two or more people compete or race on any street or highway. When one motor vehicle is beside or to the rear of another driver and one driver tries to prevent the passing or overtaking of the competing driver by acceleration or maneuver. When one or more persons compete in a race against time. Aggressive driving a person commits the offense of aggressive driving when he or she operates any motor vehicle with intent to annoy, harass, molest, intimidate, injure, or obstruct another person. Examples of aggressive driving include, but are not limited to tailgating, cutting in front of another driver, blocking other drivers from passing or changing lanes, etc. A conviction for aggressive driving is considered a misdemeanor of a high and aggravated nature. The penalty for committing this violation may include imprisonment, fines, and if the driver is under 21 years of age, conviction will. Driving under the influence result in a suspension of all driving of drugs or alcohol privileges. It is unlawful for any person to operate a drag racing slash reckless stunt driving. 
motor vehicle while under the influence of reckless stunt driving is operating any alcohol, a drug prescription, or illegal or vehicle while drag racing in violation of code any other substance which impairs his or her section 4 to minus 6 minus 186, or lane drags in violation ability to safely do so of code section 4 to minus 6 minus 251 and reckless disregard for the safety of persons on a highway or upon a person 21 or more years of age is considered private property without express. Heard under the influence of alcohol when authorization from the owner of such 0.08 gm or more by alcohol weight is present property. In the blood, a person under 21 years offage is irrefutably penalties. Considered under the influence of alcohol first conviction within 5 years when 0.02 gm or more by alcohol weight is 12 to months suspension present in the blood eligible for early reinstatement at the end of 120 certain drugs or other substances can also days make a person irrefutably under the influence dot restoration fee dollar 210 slash dollar 200 by mail and having a prescription for certain many limited permit available cation is not a defense if the medication impairs second conviction within 5 years your ability to safely operate a motor vehicle. Three acre suspension penalties for driving under the influence of eligible for early reinstatement after 18 intoxicants are severe with fines up to $1,000 months from the date of conviction jail sentences up to 12 months. In mandatory restoration fee dollar 310 slash dollar 300 by mail suspension of your driving privileges. Limited permit available reckless driving third and subsequent conviction within five years reckless driving is defined as driving any habitual violator high revocation vehicle in reckless disregard for the safety no limited permit available of persons or property. Examples of reckless dot may. Apply for a probationary license for driving include but are not limited to speed OCGA section 4 to minus 5 minus 58 ing weaving in and out of traffic improperly passing etc. Penalties for reckless driving can include a fine sigh up to $1,000, imprisonment for up to 12 months, and if the driver is under 21 years of age, conviction will result in a suspension of a J1 driving privileges. Coasting the driver of any motor vehicle when traveling down a hill must not coast with the gears or transmission of the vehicle in neutral. Trucks and vehicles pulling trailers when traveling upon a roadway outside of a business or residential district. Drivers of trucks and vehicles pulling trailers must build out have a sufficient space between themselves and other vehicles of the same kind, so that the driver of an overtaking vehicle can enter and occupy the space without danger. This law prohibits the act commonly known as caravanning. Trailers wider than 8 feet, 6 inches are not permitted on Georgia's highways. Riding in trailers, riding in a house trailer, or any other vehicular drawn trailer is not allowed while it is being moved upon a street or highway. There is a high likelihood of injury or death if passengers are unrestrained in the trailer and the vehicle is involved in a crash or the trailer becomes disconnected from the vehicle. Median strip LT is WT lawful to drive across a dividing section, barrier, or unpaved strip which separates two roadways at any point other than an authorized opening or crossover. Impaired hearing and vision, it is unlawful to operate a motor vehicle while wearing a headphone headset or any other device which would impair the driver's ability to hear. Also, the driver must not wear anything which would obstruct his or her vision while driving a motor vehicle. Not only is wearing these devices illegal, it is also unsafe. Obstructing the driver's view if a vehicle is overloaded with passengers or freight so as to obstruct the view of the driver or interfere with the mechanical operation that cannot be legally driven. Passengers must not ride in a position that interferes with the driver's view or his or her control of the vehicle. Opening vehicle doors Opening the doors of a vehicle in the side in which traffic is roving is prohibited unless it is safe to do so and unless it can be done without interfering with the movement of other traffic, including bicyclists that may be operating close to the lane of parked cars. One-way streets unless directed to by a traffic control device, authorized emergency personnel or construction workers, it is unlawful for a vehicle to be driven contrary to the direction posted on a one-way street or highway, except in situations where police vehicles or authorized emergency vehicles find it necessary to do so. Stopping when stopping or slowing down suddenly the proper hand, arm or brake operated stop signal must be given. Use headlights properly use high beam headlights only when driving in rural areas and when other cars are not nearby. You must use your headlights between one half hour after sunset to one half hour before sunrise at any time when it is raining or when visibility is limited. You should dim lower your headlights when you're within 500 feet of an approaching vehicle so as not to blind the driver you are following closely within 200 feet behind another vehicle. You are driving on lighted roads, you are driving in rain, fog, snow, or smoke. Your vision is reduced to less than 200 feet. Night driving because of decreased vision at night and the glare of oncoming headlights, night driving presents its own unique challenges. Unfamiliar roads and unexpected situations are more likely to cause hazardous driving conditions. You can help ensure safe driving in several ways. Make sure your headlights are working properly and the lenses are kept clean. Periodically have them check for correct aim slash alignment. Don't overdrive your headlights when traveling at night or in other situations that make the use of headlights necessary for safe travel. Do not drive at a speed that requires a stopping time greater than the distance illuminated by your headlights. Slow down when oncoming traffic is approaching or when you are nearing a curve. If visibility is greatly reduced, use the edge line as a guide to maintaining your lane of travel. If there is no edge line, use the center line to guide yourself. Keep your windshield clean. Do not drive if you are tired. More frequent stops, more fresh air. Lively radio programs and other measures can help you to avoid drowsiness and inattention. Watch carefully for highway signs. They are harder to see at night. Watch carefully for pedestrians and for vehicles stopped along the edge of the road. Do not stop on the roadway. Safety belts. Georgia law states that each occupant in the front seat of a passenger vehicle traveling on Georgia roads and highways must be secured by seat safety belt lap and shoulder. All occupants of any passenger vehicle must utilize a seat safety belt if they are under the age of 18. Safety belts are needed because they are the most effective occupant protection in all types of vehicle crashes. According to crash stats from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, seat belts saved 12,802 lives in 2014. Georgia Department of Transportation reports that the risk of fatality in a crash is reduced by about 45% when scab belts are used. Ewing safety belts correctly is a preventable healthcare habit that 
Helps you keep control of the vehicle. Helps keep your head from striking the dash or windshield. Helps keep people in the vehicle from hitting each other. Helps spread the crash force across the stronger parts of the body. Helps protect you from injury. Helps keep you from being ejected from the vehicle. When used correctly, safety belts are effective at helping reduce the risk of death or serious. LLLGTLLY Georgia is a primary safety belt law, meaning that officers may stop and cite violators without observing another violation. Safety restraints for children. Every driver transporting a child who is under 8 years of age, except in a taxi.c ab or public transit vehicle, must properly restrain the child in a child passenger restraining system appropriate for the child's height and weight. The restraint system must comply with the United States Department of Transportation Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 213. Under limited circumstances, a child under 8 may be exempt from this requirement. For further information, contact the Governor's Office of Highway Safety, www.gahighwaysafety.org. Distracted driving. Distracted driving is one of the fastest growing safety issues. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, 3,142 people were killed on U.S. roadways in 2019 because of distracted drivers. Distracted driving is doing another activity while driving. This takes the driver's attention away from the primary task of driving and increases the risk of crashing. Common distractions include but are not limited to talking on a cell phone, texting, reading, eating, grooming, using a navigation device, and adjusting the stereo system. The presence of the passengers and pets can also increase crash risk. Georgia law requires drivers to exercise due care in operating a motor vehicle and prohibits any action that distracts the driver from the safe operation of such vehicle. Following emergency vehicles, the driver of any vehicle, other than one unofficial business, must not follow any firefighting apparatus traveling in response to a fire alarm or other emergency vehicles closer than 200 feet, or park any vehicle within 500 feet of any fire apparatus stopped in answer to a fire alarm. Georgia's UI or country. Law whenever litter is thrown, deposited, or dropped from any motor vehicle, the operator of the vehicle shall have violated the litter control law. All Georgia law enforcement agencies are authorized to enforce compliance of the litter control law. Georgia's litter control law classifies littering as damage to property. A conviction under this law is considered a misdemeanor in Georgia. Persons convicted of this law may be assessed a fine up to $1,000 in a 12-month jail term. In addition, if convicted of littering, a judge could order the convicted person to pie.ck up and remove litter from any designated area. Litter BLI. Each year, municipal, county, and state government agencies spend thousands of dollars to clean up litter from the streets and highways of Georgia. Individuals who litter cause harm to the beauty of the state and impact the health, welfare, and safety of others. It is unlawful to dump, deposit, throw, or leave litter on any public or private property in the state of Georgia or any waters in the state of Georgia. Litter means all sand, gravel, slag, brick bats, rubbish, waste material, tin cans, refuse, garbage, trash, dead animals, or discarded materials of every kind and description. Public or private property means the right-of-way of any road or highway. Any body of water or watercourse of the shores or beaches thereof, any park, playground, building, refuge, or conservation or recreation area in residential or farm properties, timberlands or forest, IRRI, FL, equals 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 section 1, 5 traffic laws, passing a postal carrier or sanitation workers. The operator of a motor vehicle approaching a postal service vehicle or a vehicle with active sanitation workers that is displaying flashing yellow, amber, white, or red lights shall approach the vehicle with due caution and shall, unless directed by a peace officer, proceeds as follows, make a lane change into a lane not adjacent to the vehicle if possible in existing safety and traffic conditions, or... If a lane change would be impossible, prohibited by law or unsafe, reduce the speed of the motor vehicle to a reasonable and proper speed for the existing road and traffic conditions, which speed shall be at least 10 miles per hour less than the posted speed limit or 25 miles per hour, whichever is more, and be prepared to stop. Violation of subsection B of this code section shall be punished by a fine of not more 71 than $250. Texting and cell phones, textile and cell phone use while driving Georgia has a hands-free law HB 673 that mandates the drivers are not allowed to hold or support a phone for any reason. A phone can only be used with headphones, a wireless device, phone holder, or mounted device. Penalties or fines and points added to your driving record increasing for each conviction. A drive at UDEX a hands-free Georgia law HB 673. Pursuant to 4 minutes 6 minutes 241 c passed in 2018, all drivers operating a motor vehicle on any highway of the state, holding or supporting with any part of the body, a wireless telecommunications device or standalone electronic device, writing, sending, or reading any text-based communication, including a text message, instant message, email, or internet data, watching, recording, or broadcasting a video or movie. Penalties first conviction one point and fine not more than $50, second conviction two points and fine not more than $100, third or more convictions three points and fine nor more than $150. Zero equals at UILJ at Tinderwing Laws, this section covers school enrollment requirements. Dot 26 Joshua's Law. 26 Class C Instructional Pen at CP. 26 Class D Provisional License. 2017's Moving to Georgia. 27 Revocation of Minors Use and Slash Permit. Dot 27 License Slash Permit Suspensions. 27 Suspension of Driver's License Slash Permit or Driving Privileges. 27 convictions other than Dewey. Dot 27 convictions for driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Duck. 27. Responsible adult requirements. All applicants under 18 years of age must have a responsible adult present to sign the application and complete the responsible adult affidavit. A responsible adult is a person who is 18, 18 years of age or older, competent to verify the application and has personal knowledge of the applicant. He or she may be colon. A parent or legal guardian of the applicant must provide school or military documents, tax information, or a driver's license slash permit slash ID card to show relationship to applicant. A social worker who has worked with the applicant must provide an employee ID or letter from the state agency certified driver training instructor authorized to act on behalf of the parent. Legal guardian or responsible adult of the applicant with notarized documentation to verify 
In 1997, the Teenage and Driver Responsibility and Employee of a Homeless Shelter Act had re-established a graduated driver's where the applicant resides must licensing program for teens ages 15 to 18 and provide an employee ID or AA letter from the shelter, Georgia. This means that teens progress through a licensing process in three phases. As teens reach a certain age, complete certain requirements, and have demonstrated their ability to safely operate a motor vehicle, they are allowed to progress to the next phase. Successful progression to the next phase also requires a demonstration of responsibility on the part of the teen by avoiding any violations during the term of the license held. TADR also includes school enrollment requirements and license suspension slash revocation provisions F for angers, D behaviors, for example, Dewey speeding, etc. Excessive fee. THH high H sa thank E1 gram wong so OS US WMUE colon FJH LCLD approved driver education training required to obtain a gas D provisional license at ages 16. School enrollment annual 7 requirements approved driver education training required to obtain a gas M instructional permit MP anyone younger than 18 years of age must at age 16 present one of the following in order to obtain a you must be 17 years of age to obtain a O's driver's license or instructional permit M motorcycle operator's license L certificate of school enrollment DS1 the first stage of the graduated licensing obtained from school personnel program is a class C instructional permit CP2 high school diploma 3. General Education Development JET Class C Instructional Permit CP4 Special Diploma for First Time Issuance of AOC5 Certificate of High School Completion 6 College or Vocational School Transcript Dated Instructional Permit CP You must meet Within the last 30 days official transcript all requirements to obtain a real digit if a seal required you have not already done so See page 6 for requirements 7 Certificate of Adult Literacy Proving Pursuit of a JET Available from the Technical Call Obtaining a Class C Legiscum of Georgia for those currently Instructional Permit CP Enroll you in a JET Program 8 Declaration often lent for homeschoolers Upon reaching age 15 or any time Thereafter, you may apply for a CLA instructional permit CP. The following information will help you prepare for your visit to a DDS customer service center. A step parent of the applicant, other persons who can be identified by a state agency or official, school official or certified school records or documentation from a federal agency or entity. Joshua's Law, Joshua's Law, Promot McCree H. Sec. Team Dry. BMG. You will be required to present documents verifying your identity, U.S. citizenship or lawful presence and Georgia residency as explained on pages 10-11. You must know your full social security. Number or provide proof of your ineligibility to obtain a social security number. See page 10 for a list of acceptable documents. If you are under age 18, you will be required to present proof of school enrollment as explained in this section. If you are under age 18, the parent, legal guardian, or responsible adult will have to sign the application, thereby giving their consent for you to obtain a permit. The individual who signs your application may, for any reason, revoke your permit until you reach the age of 18. UV dot will be required to pass a vision test. Your eyes will be tested by means of a mechanical device. UV dot will be required to pass a knowledge exam related to road signs and road rules. Please refer to page 16 for more information related to the knowledge exam. The test fee is $10 and must be paid prior to testing. If any part of the test is failed, no refund will be issued. The permit fee must be paid prior to every testing attempt. Conditions of a Class C Instructional Permit CP Once issued an OC Instructional Permit CP, you may operate any OC vehicle when accompanied by a person at least 21 years of age who is licensed to drive a Class C vehicle, who is fit and capable of exercising control over the vehicle, and who is occupying a seat beside the driver. OC Instructional Permit CP are valid for two years. FL, second 110 and 16 driving laws. Class D provisional license. For first time issuance of a Class D license, you must meet all the requirements for a real DUID if you have not already done so. See pages 10 minus 11 for complete requirements. Obtaining a Class D provisional license upon reaching age 16 and after having HDD a valid instructional parrot for one year and one day, you may apply for a Class D provisional license by you must schedule a road test appointment. See page 16. You must surrender your Class C instructional pennant CP or a fin on your application that you are unable to surrender the PCN NITS. Sec pages 19 minus 20 for details concerning lost licenses and PCN NITS. You will be required to present proof of school. Enrollment is explained in the SEC line. You must present proof of completion of the Alcohol and Drug Awareness Program ADAPT. This program is taught in most schools and is also available online. For information about a DAP, you may visit dds.georgia.gov. A parent, legal guardian, or responsible adult will have to sign the application, thereby giving their consent for you to obtain a license. This person may, for any reason, revoke your license until you reach age 18. You must pass a road test designed to evaluate your ability to safely operate a motor vehicle. You must satisfy the driver education slash Joshua's law listed beat out. A note, teens with parents active in the U.S. military may use an out-of-state driver's education certificate provided that it is within nine months of their 16th birthday. Conditions of a Class D provisional license. A Class D license holder may not drive between the hours of 12 a.m. and 5 a.m., zero exceptions. During the first six months following issuance, only immediate family members may ride in the vehicle. Immediate family member includes the driver as parents and step-parents, grandparents, siblings and step-siblings, children and any other person who resides at the driver's residence. During the second six months following issuance, only one passenger under 21 years of age who is not a member of the driver's immediate family may ride in the vehicle. After the first and second six-month periods, only three passengers under 21 years of age who are not members of the driver's immediate eight family may ride in the vehicle. A Class D license holder must, for the 12 months preceding application for their Class C license, be free from any convictions for major traffic violations that result in the mandatory suspension of a driver's license. Teens moving to Georgia The following information applies to teens moving to Georgia from another state who wish to obtain a driver's license. See or permit in Georgia. Driver Education Requirements 
To obtain an OSD license at the age of 16 or 17, you must complete a driver education course approved by DDS. An approved driver education course consists of either 30 hours of classroom instruction or completion of an equivalent online virtual course and a six hours of on-the-road experience with a certified instructor or completion of the DDS approved parent slash dean driver guide. You must also have completed a cumulative total of at least 40 hours of other driving experience, including at least six hours at night. Completion of the DDS approved parent slash dean driving guide will serve as an affidavit certifying that this requirement has been met if the teen obtains the on-road component from a certified instructor. A separate document affirming that this requirement has been met must be completed at the time of the road test. You must present proof of completion of the revocation of MMORS license slash alcohol and drug awareness program ADAP. Permit this program is taught in most schools and is also available online. For information about a DAP, you the parent, legal guardian, or responsible. May this own trillion dds.jord1a.gov, a uwo sonic nia mmunes app cat ion wonder and hdi less than exception and all seven year old is exempt from holding the one day with proof that they are in least class cp slash instructional permit for one year and in the military. They will be issued a class c license if floor successfully passing the road lcsl under age 18 without a valid license issued by another state if you do not already hold a valid driver's license or instructional permit issued by another state you will be subject to the licensing requirements of georgia residents Please see the preceding sections for more information. Under age 18 with valid out-of-state license, if you hold a valid driver's license or instructional pennant issued by another state, you will normally be eligible to obtain a comparable license issued by Georgia. However, the state of issuance may have requirements for teenage drivers that differ from Georgia. For more information, please call the customer contact center at 678-4B8400. Instructional permit or driver's license may request revocation of the license or permit at any time prior to the minor's 18th birthday. The person requesting revocation of a minor's instructional permit or driver's license must submit his or her request for the revocation on the form designated by the department. The form requires the person's notarized signature. The person requesting revocation of a minor's instructional permit or driver's license must pay a non-refundable fee of $10. License slash permit suspensions convictions other than DUI the state of Georgia applies strict penalties to teens who fail to obey the laws regarding operation of a motor vehicle. The instructional pennant or driver's license of any person under 21 years of age convicted of any of the following offenses shall be suspended for a period of six months for a first conviction or for a period of 12 months for a second or subsequent conviction, hit and run or leaving the scene of a crash, racing on highways or SH eats, using a motor vehicle and fleeing or attempting to elude an officer, reckless driving, aggressive driving, any other offense for which four or more points are assessed, unlawful passing of a school bus, improper passing on a hill or curve exceeding the speed limit by 24 miles per hour or more, the accumulation of four or more points in any 12 to month period while under 18 years of age. A limited permit may be available only if the suspension resulted from a conviction for speeding 24, 33 miles per hour over the speed limit and the applicant is at least 18 years old. Convictions for driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol DUI. First DUI suspension colon. If your blood alcohol concentration was dot zero two or greater, but less than zero eight, or your implied consent test results were suppressed, or no test was given, your I license Y eleven be suspended for a minimum period of six months. W lease you have a previous conviction for an offense in the above list, in which case your license will be suspended for a minimum period of twelve months. If your blood alcohol concentration was dot zero eight or greater, or you refused implied consent testing, your license will be suspended for a minimum period of twelve months. No limited driving permit is available. Second DUI suspension colon. Your license will be suspended for a minimum period of 18 months with ignition interlock permit eligibility after 120 days. Zero equals zero ELLs are signs, signals, and markings. This section covers road signs, 28 shapes of signs, 28 regulatory signs, 29 warning signs, 30 guide signs, 32 construction and maintenance warning signs, 33 service signs, 33 traffic signals and signs, 34 lane control signals, 34 overhead lane signs, 34 pedestrian signals, 34 PHB slash walk signal, 35 pavement markings, 36 stop lines, 36 crosswalk lines, 36 railroad crossings, 36 center lines, 36 no passing lines, 36 edge lines, 36 lane lines, 36 traffic striping, 36 TLJTL air, 37 bicycle lanes, 37 roundabouts, 37 road signs. Shapes of signs The state of Georgia uses seven basic shapes of signs to convey traffic control instructions. Drivers should know signs by their shapes and colors so that they may recognize them from a distance and begin reacting timely and appropriately. No parking, zero pascals, backslash, slash, met T, traffic through. Vertical rectangle signs are generally used for regulatory signs, which tell you what you must do. You must obey them in the same manner as traffic laws. Horizontal rectangle signs are generally used as guide signs. They show locations, directions, or other special information. Stop diamond-shaped signs warn of existing or possible hazards on roadways or adjacent areas. They are yellow with black words indicating the potential hazard or black symbols visually describing the potential hazard. It's the law. Georgia law requires that all drivers, including bicyclists, obey official highway signs and traffic control signals unless otherwise directed by police officer or emergency worker. An octagon eight-sided shape always means around sign means you're approaching a rail stop. When you come to it, you must make a calm road crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred pleat stop at a marked stop line. If there is no stop feed in front of the tracks and alerts you to slow line stop before the crosswalk on your side of the down, look, listen, and prepare to stop. If necessary, intersection. If there is no crosswalk, stop at a point seri, roll down a window, and listen carefully for and from which you can best see oncoming traffic. Approaching train. If a train is approaching, stop. You must not start again until all pedestrians have do not try to calculate whether you can make it finish crossing on the side of the roadway you cross the track. You never try to beat a train through or traveling on and you've yielded the right to the intersection. Passing is prohibited at all railroad of way to closely approaching traffic. 
crossings. Triangle signs mean yield. You must slow down to a speed that is reasonable for existing conditions and stop if necessary. If you must stop, do so at pentagon shape signs mean you are approaching a marked stop line, if it exists, after slowing or a school zone and slash or school crossing. When used stopping, you must yield the right of way to other they will be erected not less than 150 feet nor more vehicles in the intersection or approaching closely than 700 feet in advance of the school grounds or on another roadway or auxiliary road leading into school crossing. These signs can sometimes be a major highway, fluorescent green in color. Regulatory signs. Regulatory signs tell drivers what they may or may not do. Drivers, including bicyclists, must obey them in the same manner as traffic laws. Remember, a red circle with a red slash from upper left to lower right means, oh, the picture within the circle shows what is prohibited. This marks a one-way road. If you are facing this sign, traffic is coming toward you. You must not continue down the road. IWAY wrong, you are approaching a one-way highway. Our traveling is not on a ramp. Driving on the highway or ramp in the direction you allowed at WAY. You may travel only in the direction of the arrow. Keep rigged. Traffic is required to keep to the right of medians or obstructions. You cannot turn around to go in the opposite direction at this intersection. No kite turn. You cannot make a right turn at this intersection. 55 miles per hour is SPD the maximum speed limit permitted in this 55 LMIT area. SPD Atticum you are approaching an area where a reduced speed limit has been established. Ahead is slower traffic keep right. When two or more traveling lanes are available in the direction you are traveling, slower traffic should travel in the right outside lane S. No right turn on red after stop. A right turn on red is prohibited even after coming to a complete stop. School speed limit T20. You are approaching a school zone. A reduced speed limit is in effect when the yellow lights are flashing. SJ bicycles are prohibited from entering this roadway. No bicycles, trucks, no. Trucks are prohibited from entering this roadway. Warning signs. Warning signs are usually yellow with black markings. Warning signs can also be fluorescent green with black markings. They alert you to conditions that are immediately ahead. There may be road hazards, changes in traffic direction, or some other potentially hazardous situation that requires action on your part. Sharp turn to the right, curve to the right, sharp turn to the right, and then sharp turn to the left. Winding road ahead. Side road enters highway ahead. Side road enters highway ahead at an angle. Another road crosses the highway ahead. The road you are traveling on ends straight ahead. Slow down and prepare to yield or stop before turning right or left. The bridge ahead allows room for only two lanes of traffic. Approach with caution. There is a dip in the road ahead. Slow down. There is a bump in the road ahead. Slow down. Shoulder of the road is soft. Drive on the shoulder only in emergencies. Divided highway begins. Prepare to change lanes or shift lane position. Divided highway ends. Prepare to change lanes or shift lane position. Warning that you are leaving a separated one-way highway and will soon be driving on a two-way highway. Approaching a low underpass. Do not enter if your vehicle or cargo exceeds the maximum height indicated on the sign. Steep hill ahead. Slow down and be ready to shift to lower gear to control speed and protect brakes from damage. Low CWRJHC. Presence of traffic signals at intersection ahead. Slow down. There is a yield sign ahead. Slow down and prepare to stop if necessary. This sign is on the left side of the highway and marks the beginning of a no-passing zone. Any passing maneuver must be completed before reaching the sign. Roadway is slippery when wet. Remember, the first half hour of rain is most hazardous. There is a stop sign ahead. Begin to slow down and be prepared to stop. These signs may be accompanied by speed advisory plaques that indicate the speed with which you should proceed. Traffic merging from the right. Prepare to allow traffic to safely merge. These signs alert drivers in advance of areas where animals, people, and vehicles may be crossing. Stay stopped when number of lanes. Drivers must stop it. Pedestrians are in the crosswalk. Zero slash. One TM or call coolie. Guide signs. Guide signs may indicate what road you are on and how to get to your destination. Many guide signs are rectangular, but some have other shapes. There are several different kinds of guide signs, route markers, information, destination, detents, and location I'm. These signs may be accompanied by a tine or an arrow indicating the highway, facility, or location that can be reached by following the signs. Here are some examples. The numbers on these signs designate specific exits, interstates, 44 or highways, exit 1. This sign Maryland stands an officially designated bicycle route. Be cautious of bicyclists while traveling on this road, intersection of U.S. Route 47 and GA, Highway 38. These roads are going to cross or meet the highway you are traveling on. I dot I caution a vehicle displaying this emblem as a slow-moving vehicle. A slow-moving vehicle is defined as any vehicle moving less than 25 miles per hour. They are required by law to display the symbol. Milepost Maryland stainers are placed each mile along the edge of the roadway from one end of the state to the other. Zero always starts at the south or west border where route begins. This sign means there is a public parking area in the direction of the arrow. The crossbuck is placed at all railroad crossings. Yield to any approaching trains. Slow down, look and listen before crossing. A sign below the crossbuck indicates the number of tracks. A complete stop is required when a red light is flashing. Road construction. Five miles. Constantine and maintenance warning signs. Warning signs for construction and maintenance projects are used to alert you to dangers ahead and give you enough time to adjust your speed accordingly. These signs are orange with black markings. Road closed. Service signs while traveling along Georgia's highways. The following blue and white signs will give directions to service facilities. Food, phone, gas, lodging. Hospital camping. Next right. Express Eans. Express lanes offer motorists the option to pay a toll to bypass congestion in certain areas on the interstate. All vehicles with no more than two axles or up to six wheels can use express lanes if they have a registered peach pass. When a vehicle travels through the express lane, the toll amount will automatically be deducted from the pre-established account. There are currently two sets of express lanes in Georgia. The 1-85 express lanes are HOT lanes along 1-85 North in Gwinnett County. They are open 24 hours per day. On the 1-85 express lanes, registered transit, three or more person carpools, motorcycles, emergency vehicles, and alternative fuel vehicles FV with the proper FV license plate are allowed to use the lanes toll-free. 
The 1-75 South Metro Express lanes are reversible lanes along 1-75 South and Henry and Clayton counties. Reversible lanes change directions during the day to provide additional travel options during peak travel periods. When the travel direction is being reversed, signs will show the lanes are closed. On the 1-75 South Metro Express, lanes all vehicles, including motorcycles and electric vehicles, are required to pay a toll. Public transit buses, registered van pools, and emergency response vehicles may use the lanes toll-free if they have a peach pass. 10 and LYI Express expires lanes lanes entering key. Traffic signals and signs. Traffic signals are placed at intersections to control the orderly movement of traffic and to prevent crashes. Drivers, including bicyclists and pedestrians, must obey these signals except when an officer is directing traffic. You a traffic signal I'm not funtioning at all at an intersection. All drivers must treat the intersection as if a stop sign is posted for all directions. You a traffic signal is malfunctioning and flashing. Drivers must proceed based on the color of the flashing signal they're facing. If the driver is facing a yellow flashing signal, the driver may proceed with caution. If the driver is facing a red FLA hang signal, the driver mootie stop and wait until it is safe to proceed. A red light means you must make a complete stop before entering the crosswalk or intersection and wait until the light turns to green before proceeding. A yellow light warns that the light is changing from green to red. Slow clown and prepare to stop. A green light means you may proceed if it is safe to do so after stopping for pedestrians and yielding to vehicles within the intersection. A green arrow means you may proceed carefully only in the direction the arrow is pointing after stopping for pedestrians and yielding to vehicles within the intersection. In this case, you may go straight ahead only. A green arrow in this case means you may tum in the direction of the arrow after stopping for pedestrians and yielding to vehicles within the intersection. A yellow arrow may appear after a green arrow and warns you to clear the intersection. A red flashing light means you must stop completely treat as you would a stop sign. Proceed with caution only after yielding the right-of-way to pedestrians and other vehicles at the intersection. A yellow flashing light means you must slow clown and exercise caution before proceeding through the intersection. A flashing yellow arrow means you may tum left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians oncoming traffic still has the green light. Lane control signals Some roadways are designed to accommodate different traffic demands during Tihi Day through the use of a reversible lane system. Appropriate travel lanes on a roadway utilizing a reversible lane system are indicated as follows colon. No travel allowed in this lane in the direction you are going. Steady clear the lane flashing left tum permitted. Overhead lane signs. Only left tum only. Straight or left tum only. Pedestrian signals. Walk. Leave the curb to cross the street. Do not leave curb. If I cress in Elmin Sire. Run 2 star 1 in. TL remaining. Alpha IC Merc. Travel in lane. I only. Right tum only. Flashing do not leave curb, but complete walking across the street if already started. Pedestrian hybrid beacons PHB. This signal is known as a pedestrian hybrid beacon PHB, and it is designed to help pedestrians safely cross busy streets. Pedestrians push a button to activate the overhead beacon and stop road traffic. When WLK appears on the pedestrian signal, pedestrians can cross the street. Dark solid red the PHB remains dark for traffic unless a peds the solid yellow is followed by double solid RED try and activates the push button. Signals requiring drivers to stop. The flashing red the double solid red signals are followed by alternating flashing RED signals. This requires drivers to come to a full stop and proceeds when pedestrians have cleared the crosswalk. The signal will then go dark until activated again by a pedestrian. If flashing when a pedestrian presses the button, the signal is activated. Approaching drivers will see a flashing yellow signal for a few seconds. Solid yellow the flashing yellow is followed by a solid yellow signal, indicating drivers should reduce speed and be prepared to stop. Pavement markings. Pavement markings, like highway signs, are used to warn and direct drivers and to regulate traffic. Stop line stop lines are white lines painted across the pavement at intersections indicating the point beyond which your vehicle should not cross if you are stopping for a traffic control device. In urban areas, the line is usually located about four feet before the crosswalk. Drivers must come to a complete stop at the stop line when present, not at the actual stop sign or traffic signal. Crosswalk lines, these white lines are painted across or partially across the pavement. Sometimes they will be painted in a ladder pattern. When pedestrians are in the crosswalks, they have the right of way over motor vehicles. Crosswalks are sometimes in the middle of the block in residential areas, and in some cases, a pedestrian crossing signal is located at the white line. Railroad crossings, when a road is crossed by a railroad crossing, the pavement is usually marked with a large X and two R's. At railroad crossings, a yellow line is always placed on the right side of the center line to prevent passing. The crossing is sometimes equipped with control arms and slash emergency lights to warn drivers of approaching trains. The driver of the vehicle must stop if warning signals indicate a train is approaching. Center lines, these are used to separate traffic moving in opposite directions on paved roadways. Broken yellow lines are used when there are only two lanes and it is safe to pass in either direction. No passing lines, single lines, these single, solid yellow lines on two lane roads indicate zones where passing is prohibited. They will be located on the right of the broken yellow line when they apply to the lane in which you are traveling. In some instances, both yellow lines will be solid, indicating it is not safe for passing in either direction. Double white lines, these are double white line dashed or solid pavement markings on roadways that indicate where vehicles can or cannot cross to access the adjacent lane. When the double white lines are dashed, vehicles are allowed to cross over to the adjacent lane. When the double white lines are solid, lane changes are prohibited. Edge lines, these are the solid white lines along the side of the pavement. They serve as safety guides, especially at night when it is difficult to see the edge of the road. A yellow edge line may be used on the left side to warn of narrow or raised medians. Lane lines, these are the white dashes that mark the individual lanes of travel in streets and highways having more than one lane for traffic moving in the same direction. When there are four or more lanes with traffic moving in opposite directions, two solid yellow lines mark the center of the roadway. You may cross these lines only to make a left turn into or from an alley, private road, driveway, or another street. When traveling on a multi-lane road, stay in the right lane except to pass other vehicles traveling in the same direction. ESE traffic striping these markings, created by diagonal yellow lines, on streets and highways indicating that the road is narrowing or there is an obstruction in the roadway. The area is similar to a triangle with solid yellow diagonal lines within the outside lines. 
Always keep to the right of these markings. Section signs, signals, and marking S. Turn lanes. These lanes, bordered by solid yellow and slash or broken yellow lines, is in the center of many streets and highways to make left turns. A motorist desiring to tum left should proceed to the tum lane just prior to making a left tum. Georgia law prohibits the use of this lane for any purpose other than making a left tum. You may enter this lane no more than 300 feet from the location of the left tum. When a turning lane is provided for vehicles traveling in both directions, you should use extreme caution before entering the turning lane to make a left tum. There may be a vehicle traveling in the opposite direction also entering the turning lane to make a left tum. This is especially problematic in congested areas. Bicycle lanes, these are solid white lines typically located between the farthest right traffic lane and the curb or edge of the roadway. If there is a right tum-only lane present, the bicycle lane will be located to the left of the right tum-only lane in order to safely accommodate bicycles traveling straight through the intersection. Bicycle lanes may also be marked with painted symbols of a bicycle. Drivers of motor vehicles are prohibited from driving or parking in the bicycle lane, except to cross over it to make a turn. When crossing over a bicycle lane to make a tum, motorists must yield to bicyclists that are present. Roundabouts. Navigating a roundabout. Roundabouts are sometimes used at intersections instead of stop signs. The purpose of a roundabout is to allow the intersection to handle heavier traffic flow without the need for a signal or a four-way stop. When entering a roundabout, traffic laws concerning right-of-way still apply. You must yield to other traffic that is already in the roundabout. You will always enter a roundabout to the right and continue circling until you have reached the roadway onto which you want to tum. When reaching the desired road, you will always exit to the right, navigating a single-lane roundabout. Motorists, G approach, slow down to the posted advisory. Speed slot for pedestrians in the crossword JK, they have the right OV, a tenor. When entering the roundabout, yield all circulating vehicles. Y1 for a gap and then merge into traffic in the roundabout. Traffic in a roundabout always circulates counterclockwise. At proceed, continue circling through the roundabout until you reach the roadway onto which you want to tum. At exit signal, then bear right to exit the roundabout. Slot for pedestrians in the crosswalk. 81. And 1 MRJ. NAUE. I pedestrians. At approach at the pedestrian crosswalk K greater than to make sure cars stop for you. Use pedestrian crossing signal if available. Cross, cross to the pedestrian refuge. Look to make sure cars stop for you. Finish crossing to the opposite sidewalk. Never cross to the center island. The cyclists. Experienced cyclists may navigate roundabouts like motorists. Do not hug the curb. Ride in the middle of the lane to prevent vehicles from passing you. Stop for pedestrians in crosswalks. Children or cyclists who are not comfortable enter a J. The flow of traffic shall JD walk their cycles and act as pedestrians, navigating a multi-lane roundabout. Motorists. Approach follow the lane you signs and pavement marking arrows. Get into the correct lane before entering the roundabout. Slow down to the posted advisory speed. Stop for pedestrians in the crosswalk JK. They have the right of way. When entering the roundabout, yield all circulating vehicle jets in both lanes. Wait for a gap and then merge into traffic in the roundabout. Traffic in a roundabout always circulates counterclockwise. Maintain your lane as you enter the roundabout. At proceed, continue circling through the roundabout until you reach the roadway onto which you want to turn. Do not change lanes in the roundabout. At exit signal, then bear right to exit the roundabout. Stop for pedestrians in the crosswalk JK. P.W. Neela. Oh, please note that these roundabout diagrams are examples. Only and do not represent all roundabout designs. Zero equals zero M at JSAF TV guidance. This section covers entering the car. 38 steering. 38 fog. 38 hydroplaning. 38 skidding. 38 curves. 38 leaving the roadway. 39 a tire blowout. 39. Winter driving. 39. Carbon monoxide. 39. Steering locks. 40. Following too closely. 40. Speed and stopping distance. 40. Expressway driving. 40. Entering expressways. 40. Exiting expressways. 40. Use of lanes on expressways. 40. Gores. 40. Hob lanes. 40. Tips for expressway driving. 40. Other highway emergencies. 41. Protecting the air. 41. Idling engines. 41. F free pressure. Prior to entering vehicle, check tire pressure using recommended sigh located in the door jam of the vehicle. Use a tire pressure gauge to check your sigh. If your size above the number listed on your door jam, let air out until it matches. F below, add air or have a retailer help you until it reaches the proper number. You may also measure tread depth using the penny test. Once every month or before you embark upon a long road trip, check your tires for wear and damage problems. One easy way to check for wear is by using the Permi test. One, take a penny and hold Abraham Lincoln's body between your thumb and forefinger. Two, select a point on your tire where the tread appears the lowest and place Lincoln's head into one of the grooves. Three, if any part of Lincoln's head is covered by the tread, you're driving with the legal and safe amount of tread. If your tread gets below that approximately two thirty seconds of an inch, your car's ability to grip the road in adverse conditions is greatly reduced. Traffic laws alone cannot regulate every type of driving situation that may occur. There are some general rules which drivers should understand and follow. Read this chapter with care. Someday these safety tips might help you avoid a crash, a serious injury, or even death. These are only general statements and cannot dictate your actions in all situations. It is up to you to evaluate the situation and make a determination as to the best course of action. Entering the car. Develop a routine for entering the car safely and preparing for your trip. You are parked on the street. Enter from the curb side of the vehicle. If this is not possible, wait one until your entry can be made with reasonable safety and without interfering with the flow of traffic. Have your keys ready and approach the vehicle facing traffic. Adjust your seat and mirrors. Check passengers to be sure they're properly seated and do not interfere with your view. Before starting your ignition, fasten your scat belt and make sure your passengers do the same. After starting your vehicle, check around your vehicle for hazards or approaching traffic, including bicyclists and pedestrians. Give the proper signal and move cautiously into the stream of traffic. Steering good posture while driving is important because it allows a better view of hazards and more control of the vehicle. As a general rule, when gripping the steering wheel, place your left hand at the 9 o'clock position and your right hand at the 3 o'clock position on the wheel. 
Some manufacturers recommend placing your hands at 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock positions when the vehicle is equipped with airbags. Check your owner's manual or contact your vehicle manufacturer to determine which position is best for your vehicle. Always keep both hands on the wheel unless you are safely performing another driving-related task, such as activating your turn signal. Fog if possible. Avoid driving in heavy fog. If you must drive, follow these guidelines, colon. Reduce deriving speed. Reduce speed further when you see headlights or red taillights. These indicate the presence of another vehicle and due to fog, it may be more difficult to accurately judge the distance between your vehicle and others. Dim your headlights. Bright lights produce a glare and heavy fog, actually making it more difficult to see than when using regular headlights. Do not drive with parking or hazard lights on. Hydroplaning Hydroplaning occurs when there is standing water in a roadway. It speeds up to 35 miles per hour. Most tires will channel water away from the tire similar to the way a windshield wiper cleans the windshield. As your speed increases, tires cannot channel the water as well, Jay, and your tires may start to lose contact with the road and ride over the water like a set of water skis. In a standard passenger car, partial hydroplaning can begin at speeds as low as 35 miles per hour. At 55 miles per hour, the tires may lose all contact with the road. Jay, if this occurs, there is no friction available to brake, accelerate, or steer. It is possible for the vehicle to go into an unpredictable and uncontrollable skid. If this occurs, take your foot off of the accelerator, letting the car slow down. To prevent hydroplaning, maintain good tires with adequate water channeling thread on your vehicle. Most importantly, slow down when there is water in the roadway. Skidding a car skids when its tires lose their grip on the road surface. When a car skids, both the power that the engine sends to the wheels and the braking ability of the wheels are lost. Slick surfaces can exaggerate normal movement. TF brakes are applied too hard or the wheel is turned too sharp, a skid can occur. If you start to skid, ease your foot off of the accelerator. Begin turning the steering wheel in the direction of the skid. Once you have regained control of the velticle, you can lightly apply brakes and steer in a safe direction. Remember, the first half hour of rainfall is the most dangerous because roadways become extremely slippery when the water mixes with oil and other chemicals on the road surfaces. Curves herbs in a roadway are potential sources of hazard for drivers. Because of the maneuvering involved, it is more likely that a less cautious driver may fail to maintain their lane while driving through a curve. When roadways are slick because of rain or other hazards, curves can be especially dangerous and require much lower speeds than when the road is dry. Sharper curves are usually marked with a safe miles per hour sign. Usually less than the posted speed limit, these advisory signs indicate that the reduced speed shown will make driving through a curve safer. Section 8 Safety Guidelines of Winter Driving Check your battery. Check your cooling system. Fill your windshield washer reservoir. Check your windshield wipers and defrosters. Verify floor mat installation to prevent pedal interference. Inspect your tire rests. Uneven terrain and obstacles make it difficult to check the age of your tires to safely maneuver a vehicle once it is left to know your car. Roadway. Serious injury or death can result from a crash if this happens. Plan your travel and route. To avoid leaving the roadway while driving, stock your vehicle with necessary tools and pay attention to road conditions. Drive at or be supplies. Low the speed indicated on a regulatory sign or an advisory sign indicating potential hazards. Learn what to do in a winter emergency. Drive defensively, being mindful of the actions of drivers around you. If your vehicle leaves the roadway, try to follow these guidelines. Don't panic. Take your foot off the accelerator. Grip the steering wheel tightly and be prepared to withstand sudden shocks. Don't hit the brake pedal suddenly and hard. Use your brakes carefully. Don't try to turn back onto the pavement immediately. Overcompensating jerking the wheel when returning to the roadway can tips for safe winter driving cause you to lose control of your vehicle by skidding or flipping or may also cause your at your car or vice routinely car to go into other lane of traffic. Wait until your speed is reduced, check the traffic, and look for a place to safely return to the roadway by merging into traffic, denerging diamond and jerk change. If necessary, come to a complete stop before re-entering the roadway. A diverging diamond interchange DOI. Tire blowout shifts traffic flow to the opposite side of the road to allow vehicles to enter the unlike a slow leak which may cause a tire to freeway by turning left onto an in-ramp go fell dot it over time a blowout occurs when the without stopping. This reduces points tire ruptures and goes out immediately. If this of conflict and improves traffic flow and occur while your vehicle eye in motion, it can safety. The DOI is a proven cutting edge, cause you to lose control. Low cost design that provides immediate if you experience a sudden tire blowout, do traffic relief. Under normal, free flowing not panic. Follow these guidelines to maintain traffic conditions on surrounding high control of the vehicle. Ways the DOI can reduce delays in EVE. Apply brakes lightly if necessary and safening rush hours up to 20%. To do so, grasp the steering wheel firmly and take scan this QR code to your foot off the accelerator to allow the V view and informative vehicle to roll to a top video about diverging. Do not move to the shoulder of the road until diamond interchanges. The car has slowed greatly. If the blowout causes the car to swerve under the shoulder, do not try to get back on the pavement. Let the car coast to a stop. See the guideline above for what to do when your vehicle leaves the roadway. Reduce your speed before entering these curves. If, while driving through the curve, you realize that you are traveling too fast, do not forcefully apply brakes because this may cause your vehicle to skid. Instead, take your foot off the accelerator, carefully apply the brake, and continue steering in the lane of travel, leaving the roadway. Winter weather can create many driving hazards. Because of the usually mild climate, most Georgians are not experienced in driving in winter weather. Here are several Uggtions to help you drive safely in winter weather. Use chains or snow tires if road conditions require extra traction. Always check the manufacturer's instruction manual for your vehicle, the tires, and the chains before installing them on your vehicle and operating on a roadway. Keep windows clear. Remove snow and ice from a J.I. window surfaces before operating the vehicle on a roadway. When you first enter the roadway, and if it is safe to do so, get a feel for the road. Test your brakes gently. Determine how your vehicle will respond to turning the wheel by making slight adjustments. Never apply sudden braking. Instead, slow down gradually before you come to an intersection, make a turn or stop. Keep a safe distance between you and other vehicles. Reduce speed according to conditions. Watch for hazards or changing road conditions ahead. Carbon monoxide car produce carbon monoxide, a deadly odorless and colorless gas. 
Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are unawareness, yawning, dizziness, and nausea. Simple precautions to avoid carbon monoxide are colon. Don't leave the car motor running in a garage. Don't leave the car motor running and the window closed while the car I parked. Don't operate the heater or air conditioner in a parked car with the windows closed. Don't drive with a defective muffler or exhaust he said turn. Section 8, SAFA TV Guidance. Move a victim of carbon monoxide poisoning to fresh air. Contact emergency medical services and give artificial respiration if it is necessary and you are trained to do so. Steering locks. Steering locks are anti-theft devices found in most cars manufactured since 1969. Steering locks can cause dangerous situations for drivers who are not familiar with their operation. If a vehicle's ignition is placed in the jock position WHJLE the vehicle is in motion, the steering capability of the vehicle will be disabled and the driver will be unable to steer the vehicle. Further information concerning steering locks is available from the Automobile Safety Foundation at www.carsafe.org. Following too closely, a rear end crash is caused by following another vehicle too closely. When following another vehicle on any street or highway, there must be enough distance for you to safely stop if the vehicle in front of you suddenly slows down or stops. One way to determine if there is enough distance between your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you is to measure the amount of time between when the vehicle in front of you passes a reference point and when your vehicle passes the same reference point. Watch the car ahead of you. When it passes a reference point, such as a telephone pole or street sign, count 1000 1, 1000 do. TF you pass the same spot before you are through counting, you are following 2C loosely. Who ring inclement weather during construction, during heavy traffic, and always a rut, the distance between your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you should be even greater. Speed and stopping distance. The distance it takes to stop your vehicle is important in determining a safe driving speed. The chart below may be used as a guide, but actual stopping distance can depend on the following factors in addition to vehicle speed. 20R and PLL AM sense. Estimated emergency stopping DS1 ants. Or colon NV minus 11 RJ1 RELLCITDN. LTCI 110 and TACI LICEL FFL 10I mental and physical reaction of the driver, fight and condition of the pavement, kind of tires and tread composition. Chassis frame design, type of brakes, condition and balance of brakes, wind direction and velocity. Speed is a leading factor in serious injury and death as a result of traffic crashes. The greater the speed, the greater the force of impact. The illustration below conveys the relative force of impact when you strike a fixed object. Stroking something at these speeds is like driving off a 1-4 or 9-tory building. Expressway driving, e e b oomph. An expressway differs from normal roads or highways in that access to it is controlled. Vehicles can only enter and exit the expressway at specific places known as interchanges. Moti expressways in Georgia are free, but there are few that require a toll. With the exception of the controlled enter slash exit points and hov lanes, expressways are similar onto a traveling on a divided HLGH way. There is a median separating traffic traveling in opposite directions, lanes are marked with dashed lines, and the edge of the roadway is marked with a solid line. Slow traffic should keep to the right, and all traffic laws and guidelines associated with safe driving still apply. Entering expressways the entrance ramp is a short one-way road that leads to the expressway. From the entrance ramp, you should move into the acceleration lane. This is the lane that runs alongside the main roadway. In the acceleration lane, you can adjust your speed to the speed of the expressway traffic. When safe to do so, you should merge into traffic. Vehicles on the expressway have the right of way, but courteous drivers will permit you to move into the expressway traffic. Exiting expressways prepare to exit a controlled access highway by safely moving to the right lane for an exit on the right or the left lane for an exit on the left. Guide signs will tell you of the approaching exit at the exit. Deceleration lanes are provided for slowing down when leaving the expressway. Posted exit speeds are usually low due to the design of the roadway. Drivers should use either brake lights or a turn signal to indicate a change in speed to the drivers behind if slowing down in the traveling lane when preparing to exit. Use of lanes on expressways drivers operating vehicles on divided highways must drive to the right of the median one less directed to do otherwise by a sign, traffic control device, or police officer. Drivers must obey the yellow or white striping on the roadway that indicates Janes, the convergence of Janes, or areas in which vehicles should JD not operate. Drivers may only access or exit controlled access roadways at designated entrances and exits. Gore is the term gore means the area of convergence between two lanes of traffic. The gore is the area usually similar to a triangle formed by solid white lines between an existing lane of travel and emerging lane of travel. Gores are most often seen at the convergence of an acceleration lane and the adjacent travel lane on a controlled access highway. The gore is the area bounded by solid white lines between the acceleration lane and the adjacent travel lane. Drivers entering the controlled access HLGH way are prohibited by law from crossing the solid white line and are required to continue traveling in the acceleration lane until the solid white line disappears. HOV lanes high occupancy vehicle HOV lanes are travel lanes that are restricted to vehicles with more than one occupant buses, motorcycles, and vehicles with alternative fuel vehicle license plates. The lanes are marked with a diamond symbol and the how of restriction are posted. The penalty for violating HOV lane restrictions is a fine up to $75 for a first offense, up to $1.00 for a second offense, up to $1.50 for a third offense, and up to $150 plus one point added to the violator's driving record for a fourth or subsequent offense. Hot lanes double white lines, no entry dashed white line you fay enter. Hot lanes high occupancy toll hot lanes are 1 minus 85 express lanes that allow registered transit, three or more person carpool, motorcycles, emergency vehicles, and alternative fuel vehicles to use the lanes toll free. Tips for expressway driving. Plan your trip carefully. Mark the map to indicate all entrances, service areas, and exits. Section B, safety guidelines. You plan to use. Doing these things will help you to have a safe, fast, and pleasant journey. You can check the website www.511god.org for road construction, road closures, exit numbers, and other information to help plan your trip. Check your car before you start. Because expressways are designed for faster and smoother flowing traffic, there are fewer places to exit. It is important to check your gasoline gauge and make sure you have enough fuel. Also check the water, oil, and tires of your vehicle. Be alert. Use your rear view mirror and side mirror to constantly check the traffic around you.
Always make visual traffic checks before you change lanes. Stay out of another driver's blind spot. Traveling in a position where the driver ahead of you cannot observe your vehicle in the rear view or side mirrors is a dangerous practice. The driver might pull out in front of you to pass a car. Either stay far enough behind so that the other driver can see you or pass the vehicle. This is especially true for driving near large vehicles. Tractor-trailer combinations, also known as 18-wheelers, are limited in their visibility because of their size. Use turn signals. Be sure to activate your right or left thumb signal to indicate that you are changing lanes before you begin the maneuver. Allow plenty of room when passing. Returning to your lane of travel before you have passed another vehicle and provided enough safe distance between the two can cause a crash. Carefully check the left lane behind you before pulling out to pass. Don't pull back into the right-hand lane until you can see the car that you just passed clearly in your rearview mirror. Always obey the posted maximum and minimum speed limits. These laws exist to regulate the flow of traffic and to create a safe environment for all drivers. In metro areas, expressways will usually have a dramatically increased amount of traffic during the hours that most drivers are traveling pen from their places of employment. The number of cars on the expressway during this time will lead to delays. During this time, drivers should be particularly cautious. Driving defensively, allowing a safe distance between vehicles, and obeying all traffic control signs and devices can help ensure a safe commute. Don't back up. Driving in reverse on an expressway is prohibited under any circumstances. Stopping on the expressway is prohibited. You will find rest areas and service signs at frequent intervals. Use them. Stopping on the roadway shoulder is highly dangerous and permitted only in an emergency. Switching drivers, SH etching, or retrieving an item from the back of the vehicle is not considered an emergency. If it is necessary to stop, race. Apply mud, dirt, dust, or snow. Check ditch for water. Use hubcap to carry water to wet apparel. Loosen dirt with tire tool to throw on fire. Other highway emergencies. Accelerator jam brakes fail wet brakes. Slap the pedal with foot. Shift to neutral. Concentrate on steering. Use brakes. Turn off ignition not to lock. The hood and activate your hazard lights to indicate difficulty. Don't walk along the expressway in search of help. Drowsiness and fatigue is a danger anytime you drive, but is especially dangerous on long trips along the expressway. Stop driving if you feel drowsy. Don't rely on stimulant drugs, also called stay awake drugs. They are likely to make your driving even more hazardous. Expressway drivers are subject to highway hypnosis, a condition of drowsiness or unawareness brought on by monotony, the sound of the wind, the tires on the pavement, and the steady hum of the engine. On long trips, it is a good idea to exercise your eyes to help keep you alert. Keep shifting your eyes from one area of the roadway to another and focus on various objects both near and far, left and right. Conversation with other passengers and lively radio programs may also help you remain more alert. Of course, always pay attention to the traffic around you and potentially hazardous highway conditions. Drive defensively. The key to defensive driving is awareness. You must keep your eyes moving so that you can keep track of what is happening around you at all times. Avoid staring at the center line in the roadway. Instead, look ahead for h -able spots which may endanger you or your passengers. A defensive driver will also frequently check the rear view and side mirrors to keep abreast of the traffic and road conditions to the rear and sides. Never trust other drivers to do what you think they are going to do or what you think they should do in a particular situation. The fact that a left thumb signal is oshing does not necessarily mean that the driver is going to make a left turn. You should constantly be thinking of an escape route as you drive. For example, if you are approaching a curve, you should be looking closely at the shoulder and nearby area to determine what you would do if a car approaching from the other direction crosses to your side of the road. After a little practice, this will become more instinctive. Protecting there, the operation of motor vehicles has a significant impact on Georgia's air quality. Emissions from cars and light-duty trucks contribute to the formation of ground-level ozone to calm. Shift to lower gear. Use parking brakes. Rub tire on the curb. Look for a safe area to slow to a stop. Idling engines. A test brakes lightly after driving through deep water. Brakes may pull to one side or may not hold at all. Drive brakes by driving slowly in low gear while applying brakes lightly. Opponent of urban smog. Vehicle emissions can react with sunlight at high temperatures to produce unhealthy levels of this form of air pollution. This is especially true during warm weather. Vehicle emissions and ground level ozone can be reduced by proper vehicle maintenance in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions and by fewer trips and vehicle miles traveled in the 13 county metro Atlanta area. Gasoline-powered cars and light-duty trucks that are less than 25 model years old must pass an emissions inspection every year prior to registering their vehicle with the county of residence. The most recent three model years are exempt from this requirement. The 13 metro counties covered by the state's inspection and maintenance program are Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, Cowda, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Forsyth, Fulton, Gwinnett, Henry, Paulding, and Rockdale. For more detailed information about the emissions inspection program, call the Georgia Clean Air Force at one 449 Remember, removing or disabling a vehicle's emissions control components is a violation of federal and state law. In addition to proper vehicle maintenance, you can help reduce air pollution and traffic congestion by limiting driving to necessary travel by plot dot tooting ahead to consolidate trips and by using carpools, transit, and ride sharing. All drivers should do their part to reduce the impact of automobiles and trucks on air quality and the environment. Minimize your idling time. Eliminating unnecessary idling can reduce fuel consumption, engine wear, and air pollution. When warming up the engine, follow the manufacturer's guidelines to assure sufficient engine performance for safe driving. Idling a vehicle for 10 seconds will consume more fuel than restarting the engine. For more information on emissions testing regulations and protecting Georgia's air quality, www.cleanairforce.com, www.cleanaircampaign.com, www.jeffa.org, zero equals zero limit sharing the road. This section covers sharing the road with pedestrians, 42 Georgia's law concerning pedestrians, 42 crosswalks, 42 respect crosswalks, 42 blind pedestrians, 42 always remain alert for pedestrians when driving, 42 turning right at a red traffic signal, 42 passing stop cars in lanes of travel, 42 exiting and entering driveways, 42 vehicle speed. 42. Sharing the road with bicycles. 42. Important reminders concerning bicycle riders. 43. Arm signals used by bicyclists. 43. Sharing the road with motorcycles. 43. Allow a full lane. 
43 road conditions, 43 intersections, 43 following 2 AS, 43 passing and being passed, 43 partners on the road, 43 sharing the road with school buses, 44 sharing the road with commercial motor vehicles, 44 tips for trailering 44, sharing the road with pedestrians. While there has been an increase of motor vehicles on our roads, the number of persons traveling by foot is also growing. According to the Georgia Department of Transportation, pedestrians account for almost 15% of motor vehicle deaths. In 2016, Georgia had a 15% increase in pedestrian deaths. Distractions are believed to be a contributing factor. It is critical that pedestrians and motorists pay attention to safely share the road. Georgia's law concerning pedestrians, the driver of a vehicle shall stop and remain stopped to allow a pedestrian to cross the roadway within a crosswalk when the pedestrian is upon the half of the roadway on which the vehicle is traveling or when the pedestrian is approaching and is within one lane of the half of the roadway on which the vehicle is traveling or on which it is turning. Half of the roadway means a U traffic lanes carrying traffic in one direction of travel. When making a left or right thumb at any intersection, at stop signs, after coming to a complete stop, and before proceeding, at traffic signals, even when the light is green, if pedestrians are still in the crosswalk, when entering a street or highway from an alley, driveway, or private road, when approaching a blind person who is crossing a street or highway, if he slash she is carrying a white cane or being guided by a dog, crosswalks, crosswalks exist on all four corners of intersections, even when they are not marked by painted lines. A crosswalk is the part of the pavement for pedestrian traffic where the sidewalk would extend across the street. Crosswalks can also exist mid-block if they are marked. Respect crosswalks when pedestrians are in crosswalks. They have the right of way over motor vehicles. Do not block crosswalks. When stopping at red lights or stop signs, always stop your vehicle before the crosswalk so pedestrians can cross safely. Even at crosswalks without traffic signals, drivers must stop and remain stopped for pedestrians in the crosswalk when the pedestrian is upon the half of the roadway or approaching and within one lane of the half of the roadway upon which the vehicle is traveling. Half of the roadway means all traffic lanes carrying traffic in one direction of travel. Blind pedestrians, pedestrians using guide dogs or white walking canes must be given the right of way at U times. Always remain alert for pedestrians when driving. Look for pedestrians on both sides of the street when approaching intersections, when turning or near schools, parks, bus stops, and other places people are likely to walk. Look behind your car for children or other pedestrians before backing up in driveways and parking lots. Turning right at a red traffic signal. Before turning right on red, drivers must come to a full and complete stop before the crosswalk. Do not block the crosswalk when waiting to make a right turn at a red light. This puts pedestrians at risk, forcing them to walk around your vehicle. After looking to your left to find a gap in traffic, you must look to your passenger side to ensure a pedestrian is not crossing in front of your vehicle. Passing stopped cars in lanes of travel use extreme caution when passing stopped cars on multi-lane roads. A pedestrian you can't see may be crossing in a marked or unmarked crosswalk. This is a frequent cause of serious or fatal pedestrian injuries. When you stop at a crosswalk on a multi-lane road, stop at least 10 feet before the crosswalk so driver in the next lane can see the pedestrian. Exiting and entering driveways when exiting or entering a driveway, alley, or parking garage, drivers must stop before the sidewalk area and proceeds only after pedestrians have safely passed. Drivers waiting to tum left into a driveway must wait not only for a gap in oncoming traffic, but also for pedestrians to finish crossing the sidewalk portion of the driveway. Vehicle speed pedestrians are less protected from the hat foo L effects of a crash than occupants of motor vehicles. The risk of serious or fatal pedestrian injuries increase exponentially with driver speed. The chart above illustrates the effect of speed upon a pedestrian who is struck by a motor vehicle. When a pedestrian is struck by a motor vehicle traveling 40 miles per hour, the risk of pedestrian death is at least 80%. Sharing the road with bicycles. Bicycle riding is an important type of transportation, particularly for traveling to work and to school. Because bicyclists may be on any road at any time, drivers must always be alert for bicycle traffic. Bike car crashes often happen because drivers do not see bicyclists soon enough. In Georgia, as in other states, most crashes occur during daylight hours on straight, dry roads, tip kai near intersections or driveways. Bicyclists are legally entitled to use every road in Georgia except the interstate and interstate like highways limited access highways. The law allows bicyclists use of the full lane. The A.3 not required to be in a bike lane even when one is present, although their slower pace may slow motorists occasionally, it is important for drivers to respect the bicyclist's right to be there. Yield the right of way to the bicyclist in the same way that you would yield to another motorist. If possible, make eye contact with the bicyclist, especially at intersections. Road defects cause more problems for bicycles than for cars. When passing a bicycle rider, leave the bicyclist plenty of room in case he or she is to swerve to miss a pothole or other danger in the road. The minimum legal space for motorists to pass a bicyclist is 3 feet. FL. Section FJ sharing the road important reminder the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. E. Rill. Section 9 sharing the road. Sharon G. The Road WLTH Scorses. In most cases, all drivers are required to stop when approaching or meeting a stop school bus that has its lights flashing and is loading or unloading passengers. The exception to this rule is when highways are separated in the center by median strip. In this situation, only vehicles following or traveling alongside a school bus in the same direction must stop. A warning will be given in advance by the flashing red or amber lights on the front and rear off the bus. After stopping, you must remain stopped until the bus resumes motion or deactivates its warning signals and all loading or unloading passengers have cleared the roadway. Georgia fines and penal ties. Mandatory court aprons up to six points on driving record. Up to $1.000 fine. A conviction under 21 years off each constitutes license. Suspension sharing the road with commercial motor vehicles. Commercial motor vehicles are vital to the economy of Georgia and the United States. Most of the products used in everyday life were delivered to stores by commercial motor vehicles. 
Drivers of commercial motor vehicles are trained, specially licensed driving professionals. Sharing the road with commercial motor vehicles is a necessary part of travel. Heavy trucks typically weigh 80,000 pounds or more, and drivers should use caution when diving near them. Everyone should be aware of the differences between trucks and cars and behave accordingly. These include colon. A fully loaded tractor trailer traveling 55 miles per hour needs three times the distance a car needs to stop. Large trucks are more difficult to maneuver, are longer and heavier, and require much more room to tum. Large trucks have larger blind spots called no zones. The no zone represents the danger areas around trucks and buses where crashes are more likely to occur. Some no zones are actual blind spots or areas around trucks and buses. W here your car disappears from the view of A the drivers. These blind spots are the side no zone, rear no zone, and front no zone areas. Tips for trailering. For many drivers, towing a trailer is a whole new experience with many challenges. Here are a few tips to stay safe on the road. Take your time. If you lose control, stay calm. Stay within capacity. Distribute the weight. Inspect your trailer. Know your trailer and practice handling it. Secure your load. Maintain your trailer and vehicle. Consider tow mirrors. Get the right equipment. Consider additional safety equipment. More information can be found at omba.org on safe trailering. Side ozones trucks and buses have big ozones blind spots on both sides. They are much less pay fees. GLL 11 0. Google Play 0 equals 0 AI 1 M slash F. Losing your driving privileges. This section covers types of withdrawals, 46 reporting convictions, 46 types of suspensions, 46 implied consent. A dot 47. The points system. 48 points reduction, 48 points avoidance, 48 is safety responsibility law, 48 mandatory revocations, 48 limited driving permits, 48 commercial driving disqualifications, 49 major traffic violations, 49 serious traffic violations, 49 other violations, 49 the state of Georgia can cite as dangerous and negligent drivers to be a direct and immediate threat to the welfare and safety of the general public, and it is in the best interest of the citizens of Georgia to immediately remove such drivers from the highways of the state. Therefore, the Department of Driver Services is authorized to withdraw the license or driving privileges when evidence is obtained that the licensee is a habitually dangerous or negligent driver of a motor vehicle from Georgia Law Section 40-5-57, Types of Withdrawals. The driver's license of NY in Ividui, the eligibility to obtain a driver's license or the ability to legally operate a motor vehicle in TH State of Georgia may be impacted by one or more of the following actions. Cancellation The Department of Driver Services is authorized to cancel a license if the applicant fails to give the required or correct information needed at the time application is made, or if the individual becomes otherwise ineligible after application has been made. A resident may reapply for a license once the requirements have been satisfied and the resident is otherwise eligible. Revocation If a license is revoked, all driving privileges are terminated and withdrawn until the end of the period of time prescribed by the formal action of the department. At the end of the revocation period, a resident may apply for a new license. Non-residents may apply for reinstatement of driving privileges. Suspension LF A license is suspended. All driving privileges are temporarily withdrawn for a specific period of time or until reinstatement require. Mens have been completed. At the end of the withdrawal period, a resident may apply for reinstatement and return of the license or the eligibility to obtain a license. Non-residents may apply for reinstatement of driving privileges. Disqualification of commercial driver's license LF A commercial driver's license is disqualified. All privileges to operate a commercial motor vehicle are withdrawn for a specific period of time. At the end of the disqualification period, if a licensee holds a CDL license that is not XP red, the licensee's commercial privileges will be automatically restored without any action required, provided that the licensee is otherwise eligible to still maintain a commercial driver's license. If the licensee does not hold a CDL at the expiration of the disqualification period, the licensee's ability to apply for a CDL will be restored. A disqualification of commercial driving privileges does not, by itself, result in the suspension or revocation of a licensee's privileges to operate a no commercial motor vehicle. However, many offenses that result in a commercial disqualification also result in a non-commercial suspension, though the periods of withdrawal may differ. In Georgia, it is possible to lose commercial driving privileges for life upon the conviction of certain offenses. More information related to the Commercial Driver's License Program is available on our website at dds.georgia.gov. Reporting Convictions Georgia courts are required by law to report the conviction of any offense that will result in a negative impact on a licensee's driving privilege or that is otherwise required to be posted to the permanent driving history of an individual. This includes most traffic-related offenses as well as certain non-traffic-related offenses. When the DDS receives a conviction for a Georgia license holder, the record is updated to reflect the conviction. If a conviction is received for an individual who holds a license from another state or is the resident of another state, the conviction information will be forwarded to the licensing authority of that state. LF a non-resident or a resident of Georgia who does not have a driver's license is convicted of certain offenses. The eligibility to obtain a Georgia driver's license and slash or driving privileges in Georgia will be suspended. Convictions reported to the Georgia DDS by licensing authorities or courts in other states and nations will be plied on the driving record of a Georgia licensee or resident. The department will treat such convictions as if they had occurred in this state for the purpose of imposing license withdrawals. Types of suspensions. The department will suspend the driving privileges of an individual in any of the following non-conviction situations, colon. Refusal to take a chemical test for intoxication. Failure to appear in court or respond to a citation. Non-payment of child support. Non-payment of the super speeder fee. Safety responsibility. Medical revocation. Parent requested revocation under age 18. 
the department is required by law to suspend the privileges of an individual for a conviction of any of the following offenses, homicide by vehicle, feticide by vehicle first degree, serious injury by vehicle, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, any felony in the commission of which a motor vehicle is used, using a motor vehicle and not fleeing, or attempting to elude an officer, hit and run or leaving the scene of a crash, racing, operating a motor vehicle with a revoked, canceled or suspended registration, driving without insurance, driving while license is suspended, revoked or canceled, refusal to weigh commercial motor vehicle, violation of license restriction at the discretion of the triad court. In addition to the offenses listed above, the license and slasher driving privileges of an individual under the age of 21 on the date of the conviction will be suspended for the following offenses, reckless driving, aggressive driving, speeding 24 miles per hour or more over the speed, limit, unlawful passing of a school bus, improper passing on a hill or a curve, any four-point offense, four or more points in 12 months prior to age 18, implied consent. Georgia law requires you to submit to state-administered chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances for the purpose of determining if you are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. You refuse this testing, your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of this state will J be suspended for a minimum period of one year. Your refusal to submit to blood or urine testing may be offered into evidence at trial. You, you submit to testing and the results indicate a blood alcohol concentration BAC at or above the legal limit. Your Georgia driver's license or privilege to drive on the highways of this state may be suspended for a minimum period of one year. After first submitting to the required state tests, you are entitled to additional chemical tests of your blood, breath, urine, or other bodily substances at your own expense and from qualified personnel of your own choosing. Violation resulting in conviction. Violation of hands-free law, first conviction, child restraint, one stone offense, hov lane, violation, fourth and subsequent offense, violation of hands-free law, second conviction, possessing an open container of an alcoholic beverage while driving, speeding minus 15, 80 miles per hour over the posted speed limit, child restraint, two feet, one inch, and subsequent offense, failure to adequately secure a load, violation of hands-free law, third or more convictions, impeding traffic, disobedience of any traffic control device or traffic, officer speeding minus 19, 23 miles per hour over the posted speed limit, all other moving violations, reckless driving, improper passing and hill or curve speeding, 24. 33 miles per hour over the posted speed limit aggressive driving speeding 34 miles per hour or more over the posted speed limit unlawful passing school bus points 2222233333444666c0 before visiting fill out your form anytime anywhere any device fill out the form for your permit license or id card at this link dds.drives.gov slash j before arriving at any of our customer service centers zero faster secure convenient 24 7 please remember to bring your parent or guardian and proof a school enroll element when you come in for your visit. Section 10, losing your driving privileges. The points system. The department is required by law to suspend the Georgia license of an individual for an accumulation of points resulting from certain convictions. Points are assessed against Georgia residents for out-of-state violations, which would be assessed points if committed within Georgia. Georgia licenses will be suspended as follows. For any person who accumulates 15 or more points within 24 months. For any person under the age of 21 with a conviction for any four-point violation, for any person under 18 years of age with an accumulation of four points within 12 months, points are accumulated on a person's driving record as a result of certain convictions. The JSON chart lists these convictions and the number of points associated with each. The date the violation occurred is used as the basis for determining the 24-to-month period or 12-to-month period for persons under age 18. When a license is suspended due to an accumulation of points, the point total is restored to zero. In the case of a person age 18 up to 21, the suspension of the license for a single four-point offense is determined by the date the conviction occurred. A plea of nolo contenders considered a conviction for purposes of imposing suspensions that apply to persons under age 21. Points reduction license Georgia residents may request that DDS reduce the number of points assessed against their Georgia driver's license up to seven points once every five years. To qualify for a points reduction, you must successfully complete a certified 6R driver improvement defensive driving course and present the original certificate of completion to the DDS by mail or in person at one of our customer service centers. If you request a points reduction by mail, please mail the original Driver Improvement Defensive Driving Certificate of C completion to the Georgia Department of Driver Services, P.O. Box 80,447, Kinnears, Georgia 30,013. A list of certified driver improvement defensive driving courses can be found at the following link, https colon slash slash online dot dds dot go dot gov slash dds georgiagov slash dot location slash driver improvement school is Asks points avoidance a defendant may successfully complete a certified 6 tower driver improvement defensive driving course after the issuance of a citation for a moving violation and prior to the court appearance, or is ordered by the court when the original certificate of completion is presented to the court, the court shall reduce the fine assessed by 20% and no points shall be assessed against the driver. This plea may be accepted by the court once every five years. Safety Responsibility Law The purpose of this law is to remove irresponsible drivers from Georgia highways and to protect insured motorists from uninsured motorists. In the event you should fail to satisfy a claim for damage resulting from a motor vehicle crash and a claim a six jet against you under the Safety Responsibility Law, you will receive an order suspending your license. To avoid the suspension, you may colon. Have your insurance carrier file form SR-21 with the DDS if you are covered by liability insurance at the time of the crash. 
file either a general or a conditional release that has been signed by the claimant injured party in the crash with the DDS for post security to cover the damages with the DDS, which may be a cashier's check, certified check, money order, real property bond, or surety bond, in addition to posting a financial responsibility form SR 22A. Any security or bond posted with the department will be held for one year and thereafter until proof is furnished to the department that you have not been sued as a result of the crash. You are entitled to a hearing, if desired, and if requested within 10, 10 days of the receipt of the order of suspension. Mandatory revocations. Your driver's license will be revoked in Georgia if any of the following occur. You are declared a habitual violator based upon the third conviction of any combination of these offenses within five years. Driving under the influence, DUI, homicide by vehicle, felicide by vehicle, serious injury by vehicle, hit and run or leaving the scene of a crash, racing, using a motor vehicle and fleeing or at Attempting to elude an officer, reckless stunt driving, operating a motor vehicle with a suspended, canceled, or revoked registration, any felony in the commission of which a motor vehicle is used, or refusal to submit to a re-examination of driving skills or knowledge of driving rules after receiving notice giving reasonable grounds for such a request. JF, you have been declared incompetent, or if there is sufficient evidence that you are unsafe to drive due to mental health or physical disability or disease or by alcohol or drug addiction. If you are declared a habitual violator, you may be eligible for a probationary license after serving two years of the revocation period. Limited driving permits. In some situations, a limited driving permit may be available for a fee of $32 during the SUS pension period. A limited driving permit would allow you to only drive to your place of employment, receive scheduled medical attention or obtain prescribed drugs, attend classes at a college or school in WHKH you are enrolled yet as a student, attend regularly scheduled sessions or meetings of support organizations for the treatment of alcohol or other drugs, attend a driver education program or alcohol slash drug assessment and treatment program, attend court, report to a probation office or officer or perform community service, transport unlicensed immediate family members to work medical care and to obtain prescriptions and to school. The department may also specify the places you may travel to specific routes of travel, times of travel and indicate vehicles or other restrictions deemed necessary. Limited driving permits are not valid for driving a commercial vehicle. A limited driving permit will be revoked by the department if you are convicted of violating any state law or local ordinance relating to the movement of vehicles or if you are convicted of violating any of the conditions or restrictions of your permit. In addition, the conviction will extend the underlying suspension of your driving privilege for an additional six months. Limited driving permits are not available for convictions of the following offenses or in the following situation. Implied consent refusal may be available if no prior Dewey conviction within past five years. No insurance convictions. Driving while licensed suspended convictions. Failure to pay super speeder fee. Failure to pay child support. Failure to appear in court or respond to a citation. Medical revocation. Safety responsibility. violation after a two-year suspension and age 21 or over, homicide by vehicle second degree age 21 or over, any felony in the commission of which a motor vehicle is used age 21 or over, using a motor vehicle and fleeing or attempting to elude an officer age 21 or over, fraudulent or fictitious use of or application for a license slash ID card age 21 or over, hit and run or leaving the scene of a dash age 21 or over, racing age 21 or over, operating a motor vehicle with a revoked, canceled, or suspended registration age 21 or over. If approved by the sentencing court judge involving license suspensions for certain drug offenses in all cases, the department will make the final determination of eligibility for a limited driving permit. Please contact DDS at 678-413-8400 for further information. Commercial driving disqualifications. When commercial driving privileges are disqualified, the licensee is prohibited from operating a commercial motor vehicle CMV. Commercial driving privileges can be disqualified even if you do not have commercial driver's license CDL. LF you do not have a CDL, but your commercial driving privileges are disqualified, you will not be eligible to obtain a CL during the period of the disqualification. The commercial driving privileges can be withdrawn for colon. Conviction of a major traffic violation. Conviction of two or more serious traffic violations. Use of a CMV in the commission of any felony involving a controlled substance or marijuana other than mere felony possession. Violation of an out-of-service order or conviction of a railroad grade crossing offense in a CMV. Major traffic violations, the commercial driving privileges of any person convicted of one of the following major traffic violations in this state or any other state in a commercial or unless otherwise specified, a non-commercial vehicle will be disqualified for one year driving a CMV if your back is .04 GM or higher, Dewey, hit and run or leaving the scene of a crash, failure to report striking an unattended vehicle, failure to report striking a fixed object, failure to report a crash, any felony in the commission of which a motor vehicle is used, driving a CMV while the CDL is revoked, is suspended, canceled, or disqualified, Homicide by vehicle, racing, using a motor vehicle and eating or attempting to elude an officer. Fraudulent or fictitious use of or application for a license slash ID card. Operating, a motor vehicle with a revoked, canceled, or suspended registration. Commercial vehicle cargo theft or 
refusal to submit to state-administered chemical testing when requested by a law enforcement officer. If convicted of any of these offenses while you are operating a CMV that is placarded for hazardous materials, you will be disqualified from driving a CMV for at least three years for a first offense. A second conviction from a separate incident of any of these major traffic violations will result in a lifetime disqualification of CNM Mercer 1 driving privileges. Serious traffic violations your commercial driving privileges will be disqualified for a period of 60 days upon a second conviction in three years for a serious traffic violation provided that the two convictions rose from separate incidents. Your commercial driving privileges will be disqualified for a period of 120 days upon a third or subsequent conviction in three years for a serious traffic violation provided that the various convictions rose from separate incidents. The following violations are defined as serious traffic violations when committed in this state or any other state when operating either CMV or unless otherwise specified a non-commercial motor vehicle speeding 15 or more miles per hour above the posted speed limit, reckless driving, following another vehicle too closely, improper or erratic lane change, including failure to signal a lane change, a violation of state law or a local ordinance relating to motor vehicle traffic control arising in connection with a fatal A-ash excluding parking weight, length, height, and vehicle defect violations and excluding homicide by vehicle, a railroad grade crossing violation in a non-commercial motor vehicle, driving a commercial motor vehicle without obtaining a commercial driver's license, Driving a commercial motor vehicle without a commercial driver's license in your immediate possession, but not if it is because your commercial driving privileges have been suspended, revoked, canceled, or disqualified pound wide. Driving a commercial motor vehicle without a commercial driver's license of the proper class and endorsements for the specific vehicle you are operating or for the passengers or type of cargo you are transporting. Use of a wireless device for text-based communications while operating a commercial motor vehicle. Other violations. A felony conviction involving the manufacturing, distribution, trafficking, or possession of a controlled substance or marijuana using a CMV other than mere felony possession will result in a lifetime disqualification of commercial driving privileges. Violation of an out-of-service order will result in a disqualification of colon. Not less than 180 days and not more than one year for a first offense. Not less than two years and not more than five years for a second offense not less than three years and not more than five years for a third or subsequent incidents. An additional disqualification period will apply when an out-of-service order is violated while transporting hazardous materials or transporting more than 15 passengers. Conviction of any railroad grade crossing offense while operating a CMV will also result in a disqualification of 60 days for a first offense up to one year for a third or subsequent violation within a three-year period. Zero equals at UILJ flow crashes. This section covers HUR involved in a crash. 50 aiding the injured. 50 moving vehicles following a crash. 50. Dear automobile crashes. 50. If you are involved in a crash, stop immediately in a SAFO place. Notify the near T law enforcement agency immediately if anyone is injured or killed. Or if property damage exceeds $500, provide reasonable assistance to any person injured. Warn approaching motor ETS if you can do so without jeopardizing your own safety or that of others. Activate your HAZDOTARD lights, if possible, and use reflective triangles. When available, have your name, address, license plate number, and driver's license number to anyone else who was involved in the crash. Get the same information from the other driver. LF you damage an unattended vehicle, you move to either locate the owner or leave your name, address, and the name of the owner of the vehicle you were.